Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeter, and this is episode 382 of the Inaudible Ruckus Podcast. I got the whole gang with me, all the Inaudible Bros, man, Smiles Free, E-Ray. We're going to talk about the Maui wildfires. We're going to talk about Tory Lanez being sentenced for shooting Meg. We're also going to talk about the Montgomery, Alabama brawl, right? And then Hard Knocks is back. Football is back in full effect. We are excited while we're watching this, man. Um, the Lions preseason game was going on. Too early to tell. Too early to tell. But I can tell y'all this much. I'm not rooting against Aaron Rodgers this year. I think y'all know why. But we ain't got to get into that. Also, want to talk about, because uh, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, so we're going to kind of share our um, our first experiences with rap music, you know what I'm saying, growing up-wise. Feel free to comment on Inaudible Ruckus uh, underscore podcast on Instagram, man. Like, like, drop a note. We'll probably put a post up there later on. It's like, tell us about your first experience with hip-hop. Like, when you first, like discovered it because it's, it's, it's nostalgic for all of us then in the wake of that right we're going to talk about how google and universal music is working on an ai deal that probably will change the way we saw this coming anyway but it's going to change the way music is made and consumed scary times man but about to get off into the show make sure you subscribe on all podcast platforms subscribe on youtube right okay i started doing the skeet of the week it's like a kind of a, a shortened uh, visual version of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that off the ground. Also, go to Naturally Nay on YouTube. That's Naturally Nay with two E's. And follow Neezy as you see her journey. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's really the visuals for the entire household. Because you'll see me kind of in the background doing stuff. Doing dad stuff. Husband stuff. Work stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like getting it in. So, either of those channels, if you support and watch the videos, man, you're still helping us out, so we appreciate that. Go to inaudibleruckers.com slash shop, copy some merch and some of the Moisturizer Duo. Make sure you go to letmebookpod.com for Let Me Book the Territory and anything that they got going on over there. Alright, let's get off into the show. It's an Audible Ruckus. Motherfucker! Alright, y'all. You already know what time it is. Get ready for the most electrified man in podcasts. So put your headphones on and sit back as we get ready to bring the ruckus, motherfucker. Give me the mic so I can take a wood. Now the party didn't start till I walked in and I probably won't leave until the thing ends. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> you what up, though? It's your boy Lil Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeto, aka Dark Side Dom Kennedy, aka Giggity Getty Green Gross, aka Pod Lord Infamous, aka Galapagos Gross. I'm taking my daughter to the zoo this weekend. And this is episode like 382 it. of the United Rugs Podcast. What is about to say, Free? Gross. I said, I like it. I like it. I was reading this week, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got the gang with me. It's the Inaudible Bros. Free. What's the word? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Free, a.k.a. Free Luminati, a.k.a. Freezer Sose, a.k.a. Free SPN. Nah, this is your episode. Football back. You football free. Mm-hmm. Niggas just say, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> football free. Mm-hmm. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga Free went to high school with all the offensive coordinators in the NFL <laughs> and shit. He about to give us insider information. Red <laughs> 7. <laughs> Red 7. Look, a- 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 a.k.a. Frosina Anderson. <laughs> That that, that quiet voice that you heard I'm drunk so this is about to be a a live episode That quiet voice that you heard Squeaking in with Smiles Smiles what's the word What up y'all it's your boy Smiles A.K.A. Hip Hop Adam Schefter A.K.A. The Unemployed Underboss Let's keep it the two today A.K.A. Loud Mike Nigga (laughs) alright This is the voice of God. Okay, 30 dates. Right. (laughs) 
And then that that the, the heavy voice that you heard, fresh off of SummerSlam in Detroit, Survivor Series, aka Survivor Series. <laughs> Real life shit, right? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Who that is? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it's me, E Ray, the quasi bad guy, the Diet Coke of Evil, the man of seven eighths teeth. Uh, you know, Dean Peen Malenko, aka uh, was it C four to your door? Um, yeah. Detroit man. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, the the Gratchet Ratchet. I was about to say, look, look, I I let you make it because I, I I edited. It, let me book this week, and I know how you like. You have a history on this podcast of challenging free, telling him that you are the bay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, and, I'm the D now. No, 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 you're not. And, and free, <laughs> and free. No, no, no. I, I say that because free let you rock. I'm not gonna let you rock, nigga. I'm trick trick, nigga. This is no fly zone. I ain't letting that shit happen. You know, I mean, you I'll, see the background. I don't even gotta say it. I'm, I'm in the look. area. The bay is in the area when I am. You see that background? Bay area. Ratchet, ratchet. I'm right there. I was in there when, when the whole when I drove past the holes was shaking ass. It was for me. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you need me. That's, that's how it was. That's nah, how be that it as it may. You ain't trying to say that he's the D now? Nah, he's is not. That... He, he ain't saying that. I was. He I was that weekend. I have retired that. I was going to say, <laughs> look, look, look. I'm on. I'm on, I'm, I'm on to other things. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not free because if you believe that, I'll take you where it's at. Like, like look, look. <laughs> I'll hey, take no, you where it's I'll, at. I'll play it off because. We don't really want to go out there. <laughs> yeah, right. hey, no. Like, no. Oh, no. That, hey, what, look, this is the point. Look. I had a fantastic time. I had fucking vegan coffee and shit. The, the D is not vegan what, coffee not, in Detroit. That's, that's, <laughs> the, the, the downtown part of the D. That's the downtown part. Listen to what you different. said. Listen to what you said. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. I, I, I know words. I was, I, I'm, I'm parsing the words properly because yeah. other places, I don't want to go to. I, I was about to say, I, no, I was about to say. Got it. He said, he, he said, I don't need to go see Eight Mile, <laughs> right, right, or Seven Mile, or <laughs> y'all got it. Yeah, that's all y'all. I was about to say, not you. Where you, I want to be, you, you can't listen to Free though because like he, Donnell Jones. You can't listen to Free because he already got his cousins on the phone for the Inaudible Bros Fantasy Football League. He about to line <laughs> us up. Like that's what this is. So. I understand what you're saying, come. but like free, like oh y'all ain't been to the bay yet. Ah, yeah, me and my like, cousin. We, we are the bay. <laughs> right. I was like, nope, San Francisco. Look, <laughs> hello, Virgin. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful out there. Too. Yeah, Fr- I know. Don't play. But again, <laughs> trust me. I'm on that. What's that crooked crooked road? I pick my spots. Nah, particularly. Nah, free free like, ri- free smart riding man. around talking about some. Hey man, nah, it'll be all right, man. This is all fun. <laughs> yee yee, nigga. Who did you just say yee yee to, nigga? What's going on, like? What? Why two yeast? Right, <laughs> right. The second I know one is good. And right, 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 right. The and second one, okay, yeah. but two, yeah. two, two, two seem off. Hey, the, the second, second, the second one means he put you in the blender. That's what it is. <laughs> if he just holler out the window, yee, then it's good. But if yeah. you're like yee, yee, that means oh, we got to yeah. play. We got to play on the line, nigga. Oh, these these goofies over here, <laughs> they got this, money. This this is the thing. I, I you I, you want to see where E forty grew up at? <laughs> No, <laughs> to put it shortly, but uh, <laughs> Detroit, fantastic time. I think everything was great minus uh, Kid Rock. Don't need yeah, him. No bro. one, no one who? wants that guy. Who? Yeah, exactly. I don't even know who that is <laughs> on this part. Not even right. It's like, not even worth mentioning <laughs> again. But got some, got some great Coney shit. Got some uh, good. Um, That's cool. Yeah. Ed- edibles and, and other things in, in in all the nice dispensaries. Again, I was about to say, I've seen, hey, I, I've seen more dog, white people what? biking than yeah. I've ever seen in my life in fucking my, downtown. Y'all should have let me know, my, my nigga. What is the general manager at a at a um, at a dispensary? He could have laced y'all like off off the love, like you could. Uh, you you know, I, still... I don't partake, but. Nigga, Next time you would have partooken, nigga. Is that a part? Partooken? Is that? <laughs> Do you still know I haven't opened my but my bag from uh, diet smoke yet? That I shit bet. just been I sitting don't. here. You got kids. The time, that, that, we the said time they, was they, was I got sick. they expire like a year from me buying them, so that's actually coming up kind of soon, honestly. <laughs> it's like what? Uh, fucking March twenty twenty four. You good? Yeah. Yeah, you you are. Right. I think I bought them shits in November, so it was like last November. So I got to start oh, yeah, using yeah. them. Man, hit, hey, matter of fact, go get them shits now and come back. Like, go, go hit that shit and come back. We'll see how it goes. Really become the bay, right? <laughs> hyphy. Then it's gonna be hyphy as fuck. Free, what's going on? 
Um, but damn, I'm mad because like where I want to start at is like just take the energy out the pot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we can right, insert right, positive what, energy. All right, all right. Let, let's tackle the tough, the, the tough shit first, right? Let's right. Get, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. Well. Um, Maui wildfires, right? So it, it, it's been mm-hmm. a lot. It's been a lot going on in Maui now. Maui in Hawaii is a lot of people's favorite destination. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? A lot of people l- love to go there. And, oh, yeah, let's Absolutely. take our pictures. Shout out to Neezy because she's a travel agent. And she hit me. She was like, oh, look, all the the, 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 flight, the flights to Maui and stuff have dropped or whatever, right? Mm. Now, here's the thing. That's dirty. The flights dropped to and from Maui to help get the people out of Maui. Yeah. But niggas is like, oh, nigga, on vacation, nigga, when that shit over with, we can. This is where y'all got it mixed up at. So I, I just want to talk a little bit about, and again, I, I ain't trying to bring the energy down or nothing, but like, we got to talk about this shit because this is unfortunate. We seeing people like, like, lose their homes. Artif- mm-hmm. E Ray talked about it in the group chat. People that lose ancient artifacts, like the, the history, the culture, the innate culture, like, like, of the island. Is being lost in this disaster. I low key feel like it's modern day Pompeii. What y'all feel? I was gonna say, well, oh. for me, uh, I have a soft heart for Hawaii just because I was you, born there. And you got a loud ass microphone too. You was uh, born in Hawaii, nigga? Yeah, I was born in Pearl Pearl because uh, my mom and dad met while I was. St- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Learn something new every fucking day. You have been claiming Akron for like. Right, I was like, it smiles. The reason why we got bombed, <laughs> <laughs> like, he's the chosen one. Get give him. us back <laughs> our native son, or we will bomb everyone, nigga. I'm sorry, smiles going on. No, no, tell the story. My bad. You, you was born in Hawaii, I. Right. Oh well, yeah, because uh, that's how my parents met. You know, um, uh, you know, my mom's told it. You know, she she was the side chick. Um, but other than that. Um, <laughs> I was about to ask so many questions, and now yeah, yeah. I don't have to. Shout out to my, you rolled the entire episode. Shout out to hey, Mama Kim. Like, hold it hey, down. Hey, my, my, my pops was, was doing his thing. He, he She thought she was the main chick, but... Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, Miles' but, dad is future and John Wick. Who knew? At the same yeah. time. But, um... At the same yeah, so time. Just from, from hearing from my parents, they, they've always just talked about, like, how beautiful and amazing Hawaii is and like that's how you was born you was conceived off that exactly. shit it was like oh, the scenery is amazing leave it in ah. yeah look at the koa koa olo olo yeah like what is that don't matter right. it means bend over <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> holy shit um anywho <laughs> to bring us back into the the tragic more tragic no 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 Let's oh, smile tell yeah. his story. Oh no, no let's no, just no, say, no. Let, let's just stay in smiles conception. All right. <laughs> sure. Oh, but yeah, I, uh just when I heard about the whole Maui thing, it's just like, damn, that's like stuff I would never get to see because I haven't gotten a chance to go see it as an adult. So I'm like, oh damn, like that's stuff that my parents have probably told me about that I'll probably never get to see now. Quick quick question. Um how long were you there? You were born there. How long did you actually stay until uh I think my mom said she was stationed there like maybe like a year, a year and a half before they uh, moved her to California. Okay. So were you born? Actually born yeah. there? Or, okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, I think the, so the thing is, and we talked about this um, in the group chat a bit, like the conception or fucking smile. <laughs> <laughs> the concept, well, I mean, technically the same thing. Uh, the concept of Maui and us thinking about okay this is an island it catching fire or brush fires is kind of a novel thing that you don't really think about but I tried to basically make it make sense by comparing it to California and those wildfires okay and once like the grass happens and much less like California they have those hurricane winds and stuff like that so when you get some strong winds blowing any type of random brush fire yeah. it has the chance to jump like across miles yeah. so that's what's actually that's what actually happened and i'm sure uh a lot of i've seen a lot of people um like or a lot of natives from hawaii to actually speaking on it about like you know again just the the issues that are happening all the smoke inhalation and other things that have like just been going crazy it was also interesting talking about um and i wonder how this will affect it it's 
almost similar to, um, I would say, New Orleans okay. and and oh, uh, Hurricane Katrina. Uh -huh. um, as they, they, it was a lot of talk after the levees broke about when they rebuilt, how they were kind of displacing people and all the like basically the large black population was displaced from that area. They tried to rebuild it and then basically price them out. Okay. I feel like you think that this, was already... So you think this was intentional? That I don't know. I, I won't speak to that level. I'm not going... I'm not going to... Uh, you uh, you to know me. Here. Hello, hello, hello. 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 But ah, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. There was already a big um, por like portion of Native people that were being displaced or priced out because there are many Americans and other people that are buying land and then flipping and turning to uh, Airbnbs or uh, bed and breakfasts. Yeah. And it's, they basically can't even afford to pay rent on the land that they were born in. So that was already a thing prior to this. That. Now that all these things are getting burnt down, people are losing their homes. That might've just been some of the only land that they had left. Now with them being displaced, I'm sure there's going to be some shit where, you know, certain people are going to move in purchase and rebuild e-ray e e what people. certain people what, what people do you people people with money you care to disclose okay yeah yeah i'm getting better I'm getting um better. free free california correspondent <laughs> that's mm -hmm. one of your aliases i know you're not in the actual area where wildfires happen but can you give a little bit more insight it's because i'm sure you deal with people who had to endure this and you've been in an area where it's been it was rampant can you talk a little bit about the psyche as far as well, like 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 what's going on like with with people in the middle of this i mean the thing about wildfires even if you don't live directly in the area you can still be affected because the air quality mm -hmm. dips yep because that's mm -hmm. the like e -Ray said the wind carries the wind it, so it carries yep. it in, into the atmosphere and because there were there was times i remember when I, uh like a few years back when the northern california had really bad wildfires Mm -hmm. It got so the air quality got so bad that the un your local universities had to like cancel classes because the air quality was so bad. Damn. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. times going out and you just inhaling and it just felt like your chest was burning and shit. And you're not even anywhere close uh -huh. to where the fires are burning. So there's definitely collateral damage, even if you're not in that specific area. Yeah. But you know, my overall point to it is just man, climate change is whooping our asses. Yeah, I, I was gonna say because so, because. Not to cut you off, but like us here in Texas, I, I know Smiles and E-Ray is in Dallas. Here in Houston, it's been 106 degrees every day for the past three, four months. Same here. Like maybe a little bit of rain, maybe. I I know like up there is different because like it's up north. We close to the yeah, coast. Y'all got, rain. Rain. got at least tropical. Nah, bro, it, it ain't rain. It ain't, it, it's, it ain't even rain, nigga. Like, it's just dry. But the little pond out where we it, stay at has receded. The ducks yep. is looking around like, what the fuck going on, bro? Like, <laughs> it randomly <laughs> rained off and on earlier this week. And it doesn't really, it does usually rain in the summer in California. Yeah. But it randomly rained a couple times it this week. It doesn't rain so in we can Southern can... California. <laughs> so... So we can, yeah. you know, there's some people in, in that have political power that try and deny climate change because, you know, the fossil fuels are lining their pockets with money. But, you know, if they don't pay for it, you know, their children's going to pay for it. Their children's children's going to pay for it. I worry, you know, when my son is my age, what's the world going to be like, you know, for him as far as, you know, the environment. But it's just sad that we come to this point because greedy people don't care about the generations that are coming after them. But but mm -hmm. it's it's messed up too because Maui is like like the second or third largest like island of Hawaii, right? Hawaii is like a a, a series a of islands. Of island. Yes, yeah, a yeah. collection yeah. of islands. And and like to to have like one it's like four or five islands depending on like how you count them. To have one of the major pieces wiped out like this, like goddamn, you know what I'm saying? That's why right. I said you, modern you, day Pompeii. You know? Because if my bad for you, but but like if we all like like remember, I say Pompeii because Pompeii was through uh, to a volcano erupting and wiping out a whole civilization. We read about that shit in covered history in class. In ash. Yeah, covered it in ash. This shit is kind of the same thing. Like free said, air quality. You know what I'm saying? Like the infrastructure of this entire island is now in a flux now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like you hope wild. they can get get 
on top of it, you know, sooner than later, even though it looks like they're they're still really struggling. Yeah. Just so they can salvage what they can salvage so people can, you know, try and build a future there if they choose to stay there. Um, because you shouldn't have to, you know, have to leave over something that's out of your control, you know. But like E Ray said, that's when the vultures kind of start flying yeah. overhead and and trying, trying to, to take advantage. Land, yeah. all this, yeah. Oh, this is burned down. Uh, we need those parcels, parcels of land. Yeah, let, I mean, let's well, go get them now where they're cheap. I, well, I, I'll yeah. say this: free, just beware, or or be happy. Either one, I don't know. Uh, there's going to be mad um, island people right in your neck of the woods, yeah. like in the neck, like this, this place. They just need like, some. Went, they need somewhere to go. Exactly, just like the, some Louisiana oh, people went straight. To I would not be surprised. Texas. Texas. Mm-hmm. Yep, because we already saying. there's already a big Pacific Islander population. That, in but that's what I'm anyway. saying. That's why I said mm-hmm. it. Well, well, they're just gonna. Well, question for y'all be, because my ignorant ass. Hey, mm-hmm. after all these California moving to Texas, right? <laughs> well, it's room. It's room for them there, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I don't know because the price. Um, my ignorant ass came to the group chat when we talked about this. Like, hey, well, they on an island. Can't they just put a water hose in the water and shoot this shit? But like. Y'all explain to me, and I want y'all to explain it for the listeners. Like, nah, the infrastructure is not in place to just simply like pull water from the ocean and and put the fires out. Like, I want, can, can we can we talk a little bit about that? Well, I think another one thing about it too is manpower. I don't know if they have the manpower necessary to kind of continue okay. to attack these fires, unless mm-hmm. you know we've seen it happen before wildfires where firefighters from other states will kind of come in and, and assist so that might be coming down the line but i haven't heard that it has yet yeah thus thus far what i've done uh like from the coverage i've read and seen um they did uh, inquire about the navy and like national guard coming in to assist yeah but a- as we were talking about their infrastructure isn't built for like any type of emergency response gotcha to fires. gotcha so it, wow. it would be it's essentially uh, and as i explained it offline it's essentially like Dallas when a snowstorm happens. Yeah. It's like, okay. yep. great. Yeah, we got to, you know, it, it's Dallas. It's a city. People can move. But the infrastructure being that, there. hey, there is no, there's no plows. We don't have salt. We don't have yeah, any of the things. So when it snows, it shuts it down and it doesn't matter. Recording in progress. Because we just don't have the things there. Um, but very much so, again, like it is in uh, in Maui. They have, you know, all the things there. They just don't have it. So they need to have like the helicopters and and the things that can like actually transport water. Because they try that in um and like you said, Nor NorCal. Yeah. And it just yep, yep. it and that just helps. Or they kind of build a barricade to stop the fires and contain it. Mm-hmm. But Maui's a, a smaller location. Yeah. And then also they it would have to have people get there in order to do it. So. Yeah, it's just a it's yeah. just a rough situation I, altogether. And the other thing, the thing about wildfires too is that they start with like it's usually because of dryness. Like yeah. so, yeah. the area is yeah. so arid and dry. That's how the fires start. So those are they're hard to put out just off of that. It's mm-hmm. not the typical. You throw not it's not like a chemical fire or anything like that. But it's still not the typical. You throw water on it and it goes out because that type of fire spreads so quickly. What well, well, exactly? My thing <laughs> is, and what I'm looking at is like the wildlife too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of wildlife that, that, right. that, that in those jungles and stuff. You are destroying ecosystems. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that's the thing. Like, like it's it, it just fucked up. It's, it's a fucked up situation. But Hawaii is a part of the U.S., so you would expect a quicker response and like help sooner than what it is. You know what I'm saying? But but because they like, oh well, you're not Anglo, so. Well, yeah, you're tall. You're tall. Your, your skin I mean, color is a little bit darker. <laughs> they like call the rock for help. But everybody loves Hawaii to go vacation, so it's like, bro, no, fix this shit. Like, like but, go help these but, niggas. So I'll say this: as as much as that, uh, you know, color always plays a part. I feel like this time it's not as much as far as the help. It's more sort of proximity. I think, I think the in the in the long run, how this plays out is definitely going to be. You know color but when yeah. it comes to like the assistance 
It's just infrastructure because yeah. they're they're yeah, now also, yeah. that I'm shit. Is, on, it's like a five hour of, how, how for you West Coast. Yeah. How long yeah. is the flight from like California yeah, to Hawaii? It's like five, five hours. Like five five hours. Six hours yeah. Just yeah. from from the continent. From, what, what does it? The continent. And the reason California. people love the reason people love Maui like that is not like it's Honolulu. It's not super dense and stores. It's and remote people. and more it's natural. More remote. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So so even then. They're they're offering people or they're trying to get people out of there. Nigga, so look. They're flying planes. <laughs> get your ass out so, of there. So anyway, what you're mean, saying is bro. help is on the way. It's just taking them niggas a minute to get there because yeah. pretty much five <laughs> hour flight. Bet, yeah. bet. All right. So I want, oh, pray for those people. I, yeah, I'm sure yeah. that the Rock yeah, yeah. Is, and and mad other people like that. That's not a, a joke. Yeah, I, I'm sure the Pacific Islander the, community yes. should come together and 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 rally. Not not just A-A-P-I them. AAPI folks are about to come to come together. They should lead the charge, and then everybody else should rally behind them oh, to look that out. That brings for them. up. I'm sorry to cut you off. That brings up a really good point. When you see these these people reaching out. These agencies reaching out to donate. Watch who you donate to. Because a lot of these people that take these donations, the money don't go to the... JJ Watt! <laughs> I'm just talking like yeah, Red Cross. Red Cross. Uh, right. yeah. JJ Watt! Yeah. <laughs> well, if you donate and donate Katrina. to organizations that are actually based donate out... Donate to the that, Rock. Hurricane donate Harvey! To, <laughs> <laughs> donate to organizations that are actually based out... JJ Watt, where's the so Harvey you know money? money <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson will take every one of those dollars and rock bottom of fucking elbow drop them right, right on the, the beach, yeah, right yeah, on the right. beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah unlike was, JJ Watt, who just took that shit for everyone. Right. Shout, out to J- hey. shout out to Aramon on it. Shout out to JJ Watt. If it was all a right. Fast and the Furious Some movie, energy. you do a, a, like a thunderclap and put all that shit. Up. All right, I, I see y'all in a good mood. E Ray, you had a, you had another What's topic. First off, before we segue, like you said, pray for the people in Maui, man, because this is unfortunate for real, for real, for, for people that have to lose their home. But we got to move Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Um, e Ray, you brought up a good topic, like 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 we were discussing it about like like public apologies and people having to like present themselves in front of like it's like getting in front of the shit, but then like having to like back away from the shit. So I wanted you to like kind of like paint the scenario because some shit happened with Neo. And, and, and I'm trying to make sense of it. Literally, like, like, some, some, some shit. Some um, shit. This, this has been a thing. Uh, I think typically I would say when people get into uh, this podcasting game, specifically like celebrities, yeah. they often come with, you know, a team, right? Yeah. They got their stylist, they got their publicist, all these people <laughs> to, be, to be looking like. For an audio platform. You know, hey, comb, hey, my, hey, comb my hair, or in Neo's case, my lack of hair. <laughs> put, on my, my put on my 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 brimless beanie. Yeah, you, you need that though, because <laughs> the clips go viral and clips go out. Unfortunately, a clip went viral from Neo in a less positive sense. Uh, if anybody remembers early night, oh, excuse me, late nineties, early two thousands music videos uh, of music video fame, Gloria Velez has a podcast. Okay, um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Is, what is it a good talk podcast? About. Um, I don't know. I just look at Gloria. I, like, I, I doubt you already did that research. I mean, right, I was about to say we not like, here for listening. Is it is, is it on YouTube? She, she's on she's on DJ Vlad's network. So that's 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 wow, so yeah, that says everything we need no to know. Neil got in trouble, right? For reference, right, right. Oh. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Neezy here. I wanted to make sure that y'all go and get your Naturally Nay Instant Moisture Duo. That's right. You know, this Instant Moisture Duo can be used on braids, locks, twists, beards, and all of your natural hair. The moisturizer is all natural ingredients. One of our key ingredients, aloe vera. You know, aloe vera is really great for your scalp. And our oil blend is a mixture of the best oils that you can use to promote hair growth and give your hair a good shine and overall just a natural glow. So you're getting two amazing products. Make sure you go to inaudibleruckus.com slash naturally nay. And also you can follow us on Instagram at naturally underscore nay, N-A-E-E. For, for reference, um, Gloria Velez, girl with the cowboy hat, 
in Big Pimp video. Right, 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 right. right, right. Okay, there we go. Just, just Pimp, gotta get everybody got paid the visual. Cheese, mm-hmm. just to be real, everybody, oh, all right, bros, at the mouth. <laughs> yeah, all that. So oh. take that, oh, what take you that, know and put that about in front of Texas you, Texas boys. Yeah, put that in front of you, and then have her just like ask you a serious ass question about like transgenders and rights. Titties. What the hell you think you gonna say? Titties. Say, it's like uh, when Ta- it's like when Taylor Rooks in, uh, interviews NBA players. They be saying the wildest shit. I can average nigga. sixty a night. Listen, <laughs> listen. I love Taylor you. Rooks. I love you, girl. <laughs> Everything that is li- what what I, I love you. Titties. Let's- <laughs> Who in- I, I'm sorry. What was the question? Who was interviewing John Morant when he said, "I'm good in the West"? Taylor. Titties. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Precisely. So, so again, take that, lighten it up a little bit. Glory of Velez. <laughs> lighten Glor- it up a little. <laughs> lighten it up a little. Glory of Velez had Neo on her podcast, and they were having a discussion. And then she asked him, like, "What do you think about like parenting and in in today's age?" And he mentioned. Like, I don't know. Like, basically, he he went to a diatribe, which, you know, you can look at him one way or another. But I think he made some good points, but he also kind of put his foot in his mouth in certain places. But basically also, about in yeah. his age, in his his demographic, he remembers a time where there wasn't like all these genders and things of that nature. And he would never support kids being able to make such a large decision about their uh sexuality or their gender oh, sure. he wanted he wanted to be fair and yeah, I, I, he, I, he was on a good road <laughs> I'll, I'll say i won't paint him i won't paint him in a in a dirty light i'll say he was being very fair where he said uh i would like to ask my child if they let's say for instance your son said i want to be a girl and he said well what is a girl and then he was like, well, the girl He's like, well, you can be a boy that plays with dolls. That's perfectly fine. Or you can be a boy that, you know, wears pink, but you're still, but he's still just reaffirming. Like, what do you think? And why are you? And I get the point behind that. That's where he was fine. And then he kind of crossed over to a little bit of a jokey lane where he was trying to be like, look, I don't care specifically what you identify as. You can be a goldfish. <laughs> And I, I just don't want to like, like, if that's what you want to believe, perfectly yeah. fine. But don't get me to. Then he said, "Play that game," and that became where ah, it became problematic. Yeah. Semantics, the yeah. semantics yeah. Like, game, man. Be, and and word word is important for sure. But yeah. again, it was one of those things, and then he kind of devolved into this. He's talking about, is, is he talking about the pronoun game that everybody is so like like Pro, ah, pronouns the pronoun and then game. just want to sexuality, do the whole, yeah. gender. It it was just the all encompassing, but it basically spanned from the fact of children and let's say children being of a younger age, like adolescent to like yeah. I'd probably say five to fifteen. Okay, yeah, because he was using like, like no near gender. They can they can choose their gender and all that, but we can't let them drink and, or like they can't go gotcha. to the military and gotcha. all that. But... Or, or or he put it basically he kind of juxtaposed it and said, "Hey, you can't drink, you can't smoke, mm-hmm. you can't do uh, like you." But you could tell can drive, you, could, you could tell me you what tell gender me you that, are. Yeah, to make yeah. a to make a assessment to go on like hormone affirming surgeries and, so, so, and, and, and all those things. Got which you. Can be there. There's a there's a there's stand for that but regardless this happened i I was like okay fine no big deal then all of a sudden people latched on these clips and of course gloria Velez, she just started a podcast it's going she's viral. not gonna stop that shit. She's not right. like she's like shit. She's like nah, run it that up. Real. Gloria yeah. Valet's podcast. The, yeah. Eyes on the product. TV ain't got product. no temperature. Yeah. yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, so yeah. she so she put the clip out. I feel it. And then they the LGBTQ IA plus immediately ah oh, nah load this, the clip. this yeah. nigga right here just yeah. said uh and the cancel brigade came out and. Then Neo, uh, via his social media, immediately came out and responded with a very uh, concise <laughs> apology. Yep. Love everyone. I, I meant all lives no matter. Offense. Yeah, all yeah. sex I, I matters. Want, love, love, mm-hmm. love wins. Yeah. Love, love everyone. On top or on bottom, sex is sex. Yeah. Love it. Sex yeah. is sex. Love is love. Yeah. And then he, he went to, on to say, uh, "I'm going to educate myself further in the matter." Yeah. 
Shout out to him. I mean, that's hey, that's a good response. If I was on this team, if, that would be a good. Well, <laughs> if it stopped there, ah, it kept going. Twenty four hours later. Oh shit. He he went on Instagram live from his car. He pulled a uh, that, was that, 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 mean he, that, that mean he had to. That mean he absolutely Listen. had like like nah 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 nah. Y'all need to hear it from me. When when I, when a nigga go live in his car, right? Yeah, just get well, your he got time. Out. He got time. Like 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 he he want to make sure he got time before that he go he into did. his next meeting. He gotta let you know how he feel <laughs> before he walk into this building or his house. For, for facts, like you can't wait. Yo, I ain't even take my seatbelt off yet, nigga. I'm like, he was like, oh, <laughs> no, nah, yeah, dog, dog with had that a seatbelt on. Said he had to get some thoughts off, so we knew it was probably was an hour long. Bruh, ride. Hold on, hold on, hold on, E-Ray, E-Ray. Dog really still had a seatbelt on? Tell the truth. I don't know, uh, dog. He, he, I, he I might, can't remember, he might, but, but he was still in his have, car. <laughs> but he was still in the car. And he, it was a list. Listen, to everybody. It's Neo. I just want to tell y'all. And, and, he, and he goes on to say, I want to tell y'all from me, not not my publicist's computer. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, this ain't no AI made script. up bullshit. Off he, script. He, inav- he inadvertently confirmed what we all suspected and know from the John Morants and, and et cetera, et cetera, so forth. These ain't these people saying these apologies. Right, 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 right. These statements, <laughs> these say it. These statements that people making and stuff is not coming from them. It's coming nah. from their teams. That's not really how they feel. Chat GPT. They just yep. put that shit. yeah. Apologize. Apologize to the LGBT. Go. Apologize (laughs) to the Jewish community. Yeah, like you know, not they. They like like. (laughs) So so he goes on to say, "Hey guys, I'm I'm just saying it here," and he put it very flat out. Hey, if I get canceled for this, then maybe this is a world that don't need Neo. And I'm I'm a hustler, so I'm gonna get it either way. But I didn't tell anybody to follow my beliefs. I didn't tell anybody to like listen to me. I just stated what I believe. And what I believe is that, you know, everybody should love who they love, but it's their business. I don't have to necessarily be a part of it or things, but it's when specifically me raising five uh, these are five kids, four yeah. boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three girls, like three boys, like two that. girls, or something. Yeah. Like that. I don't know the ratios of, of them. Right, it's a lot of kids. Yes. And and he said, "Look, I'm raising these people in you know these younger children, and this is what I believe, and this is how I want to raise them. And you raise your kids how you want to, whether you're gay, straight, etc. And it was like, but I'm not apologizing for what I think. It was like that's just my that's my thoughts. But again, my opinion is not special. My opinion is like yours everybody got one so believe what you want to believe but at the end of the day it's all love and and that's that so that was how he ended it again oh, it shit. wasn't the prettiest that's thing. not that's not bad though like it's, it's real that's real though well, from his I, that's what from, i believe from, from I, him from him that's real right yeah so i, I i'd ask someone like free free is an advocate for a lot of representation i want to know i, I want to know where do you think he went the most wrong and then is this apology like the sorry the second take back apology i guess <laughs> you got to put like a kevin hart apology you're like all right fuck that shit dude. but where did where do you think he overstepped and then was that second second statement like a was that negative or, or how do you feel about it Let's just go. i mean i'm a i'm a two ways about it number one i think he said things in this first statement in the podcast interview that are factually incorrect. Oh, uh, such as, such as that back when he was up, there was no, well, there were people that identified. It just didn't have that. It was more of an isolated community, meaning like right, right, right. they were around. They just were on the yeah. outskirts of society. Um, so he's speaking mainstream. He, he, mainstream yeah, yeah. wise, speaking, this was the Yeah, the and he's norm. speaking solely from his perspective because he probably yes. never met a transverse gender person until he got older in life. Uh, but they he were grew up that, in Las the, Vegas. He probably <laughs> met magic <Yeah>. people. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. hey, want to see a magic trick? And, <laughs> and, and then I continue <laughs> to get tired because I feel like I've said this on this show multiple times. I continue to get tired of yeah. the narrative that's pushed that children are getting gender affirming surgery or taking you know, mm-hmm. hormones. No, no. In order to be able to get the gender assignment surgery, you have to be 18 years old and you uh-huh. have to have 
therapy leading up to that know, to see if you're no mentally no. if you are if mentally competent to be able to withstand yes. this this conversion just like how niggas you know how we talked before about how niggas learn therapy words and use that to continue to be toxic like yeah. niggas now learn what gender dysmorphia means gaslighting yeah. like oh you're not trans you just have gender dysmorphia well yes why do you think they became trans because the treatment for gender dysmorphia is living in the gender that you feel like you identify with that's what the treatment is <laughs> so at least in a lot of cases maybe not okay. every single case but in a lot of cases yeah hey i think okay. you know you should be who you want to be because right. that's going to help your mental health because i don't want you to continue to hate yourself that's going to mean you're going to end up harming yourself or you're going to harm someone else so how about you be the person you want to be so you can be happy and live a productive so, life so i have uh this is not my perspective but i have heard opposing thoughts so i'm curious how you would uh, go with that the second part of this is being that people have now because this is also something they said in the original clip is like people have now started to identify as you know other things some people do wants to identify as a dog now he turned himself into last i mean like, that's that's weird. that's, a, person that's wants a, to, a false uh, a that's drunk? a false equivalency though. it's a false I, equivalency <laughs> i think these people that and the people that do that are are incredibly unserious people they're doing that to get a kick out of it to have fun uh there's a difference between well well, well you know what? Before, I want to I want to dress up as a dog, so I like dogs, and I want to be a dog. But you're not, <laughs> okay. you're not, you're not, but you're not, you're not sexually attracted to dogs. You're not, you're, you're really not living your life for twenty four seven, twenty four seven. I was, uh, was going to jail for it. Where's I'll, this conversation that's going? True. Like? That's, that's big facts. Smiles is actually correct. There was a, I believe it was a Florida woman. Yep, that, in Florida. Um, I knew it was Florida. I just knew you, you, you said always like, yeah, know it it's Florida. Come on, dog. It come on, dog. And like literally, she said, "Come on, dog," because she yeah. laid come on the couch. Come on, dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or dog, come. Never mind. Uh, she literally was like, "Hey, come here, good mm -hmm. boy," and then but just proceeded to give Seed. her dog the sloppy <laughs> topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and her and her husband slash ex husband. Did they share the house? Yeah, it was Caught important. It on like a ring cam or some shit. So perhaps maybe she I do. Again, it gets very I, I understand what like you I, I, I get your standpoint. It's a slippery slope, right? What the is this going? It's but very I, but uh the reason I say that is because the people that bring that up in the closing arms of it are are usually being willfully ignorant and and very using true. it as a false equivalence. Very true. Like I'll just identify as a lemon. Like no, the fuck you're not. Because number one, <laughs> nigga, I'm tired as fuck. I'm bitter as hell. A lemon, a lemon. is an inanimate object. It's a fruit. It's not a. Oh, <laughs> oh what? What? What you say? <laughs> oh, not in that context, but it's oh. a fruit. Uh, and you know, gender identity well, what about and sexuality gushers? is completely different. I so, love those gushers gushers commercials. I, I'm I'm kind of pulling away. I need to get us back on 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 track. In response to his apology, I don't give a fuck about you. I never give a fuck about these apologies. Ah, really all right, all right. Well, uh, leads us, leads us uh, to our, say, our yes. I, I, yes. I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate that he stood on what he said because we need more people to stand on what you say, but live with the consequences. Where are at we? At the same time. Absolutely. You know? Which because is... who knows? He may have had a lot of trans people in his fan base that he just alienated and they won't support him anymore. He, he grew up in Vegas. Absolutely, he did. <laughs> mm -hmm. They got money. So, they were, look, he lives in Atlanta now. I just, I mean, I just would do with that I information. Like people, you will. I think it's okay when someone asks you a question. Like, when you're you know mad, what? I, don't have a, I don't have a you know enough information on this to really speak on it. It's not. I never had this experience. But, so but who's gonna who's gonna do that? It's a podcast. Mm -hmm. You just pontificate on everything. <laughs> that is well. that is what podcast means, well. right? Podcast is well. short. Make podcast. that shit up as you go. Yeah, yeah. Podcast as you go. Like, mm -hmm. so I respect his honesty, but a lot of he was pretty much talking out of his ass. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> long story or, short, or well, the body part that was no. <laughs> uh, Eray, get us out of here. No, Eray, get us gonna, the fuck out of here, bro. I, keep driving. I was gonna say, keep driving. Go to the next one. <laughs> on the on the same on the same trail. Oh, we just roll it. We chugging on. along here. Probably. Um. <laughs> Jamie Foxx, who uh, of they clone Tyrone fame, <clears throat> of course, uh, of most recently, and they, and you know, nah, I say from it, his illness. I about to say tried to kill Jamie Foxx fame, nigga. Like, I mean, 
he's, he's if he's we here, we gonna be here, nigga. They, we we he's here. Back. Um, he's alive. But, they tried to kill him. Yes, Jamie Foxx is, they! is back. <laughs> back. They they start calling him, uh, you know, a clone and all types of craziness and mm. and shenanigans of that nature. But apparently, something happened where he felt in his heart that he had to speak. He, he kind of got to that those Southern Baptist roots where he was like, you know, the love. Uh, they, they, you know what, you know, because you know when black people get mad and they get wrong, they don't go like just say shit. They gotta be all cryptic and and biblical with it. Yeah, they, you know, they tried to kill Jesus, dog. You know what they did to Jesus. So you better believe they're gonna try to do it to you. And don't you have no Judas up in your crew and all, all types of random mm-hmm, shit like that. Mm-hmm. This is what what Jamie Foxx posted. Hashtag uh, no fake friends. Hashtag fake love or, or something or another. Hashtag fake trying to kill me. Hashtag blame it on the goose. Hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> blame right. it on the goose. Blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol. And uh, T-Pain just came on over. You got to bang, 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 bang. <laughs> T Pain was doing a bottle of Novo that no one drinks anymore. E-ray, nobody, no, nobody can see what E Ray did. He just busted oh, yeah. dance moves. All the necks, yeah. all the neck moves. Yeah, you was there. You was in the club. You know what T Pain had us oh, doing. Yeah, T Pain was going crazy. Yeah, but uh, somebody who went crazy in response to this Jamie Fox post, um, Friends fame actor Jennifer of all people, a- Aniston. Aniston, Aniston, Jennifer Aniston. of all I, people. I was like. I was like, what, which Jennifer? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Jennifer Hudson. Like, Love Hewitt? Houston. Jennifer Love yeah. Hewitt? Right. 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 Jennifer Hudson? Right. <laughs> Je- Jennifer Lopez. No, no. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Um, but she, why? She, I, I, look, I have no idea how this happened. This is this is the thing. Black people, as soon as he said that, we already knew, like, oh, shit. So, somebody tried to rob him or somebody was, was trying to sell some pictures of him while he was sick. That, that That's immediately what black people were like, oh, okay, bet. That's it. I don't know who who read this Jamie Foxx statement was like, oh, the Jews. That's, that's not what happened. Right. I don't think that's how anybody took it, but it, it seems like it's a dog whistle for anti-hate groups that says, Talk about oh, it. Jewish people killed Jesus Christ. And I think that's just a misnomer, I guess, not misnomer, but a miscommunication uh, between cultures. Mm-hmm. So... When Jamie Foxx, being a, a prominent black figure, says these things, people familiar with his culture already know, okay, he's speaking about uh, the, the 12 disciples. He's speaking about the Judas in the crew, meaning the person next to you is going to be the person that betrays you. Yep. Uh, people outside of that group, aka people of Jewish descent, see this and like, nigga, we ain't killed a Jew. Oh, well, right, technically, right, we did kill right. Jesus. But don't be trying to don't blame that shit. On, and it's like, oh, okay, got you. Because it's a just a misunderstanding between what the they means. So uh Jennifer but, but, Aniston. But but, but to, to your point, E Ray, yes, Jennifer is. Aniston jumped out the window. Ah, oh, he's talking about like you gotta re- well, you gotta reach out to the person to it's Hollywood. You gotta reach out and see what they talk about first well, before you jump out the window did. on that shit. Because because it's because it's social media, mm-hmm. she start getting attacked because she liked the post. Yeah, that was the start of it. So ah, okay. she liked the she liked the post, and then people started tagging her. Oh, you like this anti-Semitic bullshit? Oh, you are anti You're a supporter of this, <laughs> right? And they were going crazy on her, and then she she tagged it. She took a screenshot of it and then posted, "I did not intentionally or." These are my people. Unintentional. Yeah, it, I don't know what she what she was trying to say, but basically she said, uh, "I don't stand with anti-Semitism. I don't stand for this, etc., so forth." Which which is very normal, cool, but it did it was in support of that message, as if that was Jamie Foxx's message. And I think it was kind of clear from the original story, at least for the people it was meant for, that way. Gotcha. Um, Jamie gotcha. Foxx then issues an apology. Saying, "Hey, I'm sorry for the people I hurt." Of course, right, right. he got he, straight from he the just, publicist. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, the publicist yeah, copy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Chat GPT yeah. apologize, Jews, and it was mm-hmm. oh, okay. Because right. yeah, yeah. he don't want that smoke, especially coming off of his recovery and all that. It's like, bro, I'm trying yeah. to get back on my feet. For, yeah, exactly. So you don't mm-hmm. want that type of issue. And plus, again, um, to anybody of Jewish descent, that isn't 
the same like it, again it's kind of like um I, I think i would liken it to the sw- the swastika uh, for oh so indian people or people of uh that indian descent that's that has like that's a symbol i believe in hinduism or something like that and it uh, has completely different meaning but it was, it was co-opted taken, by yeah, yeah, by, yeah, by yeah, the neo-nazis yeah. or excuse mm. me nazis not neo-nazis <laughs> new ones the regular nazis og nazis and, yeah right, og right, nazis right, right. <laughs> the hitler nazis right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes 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 mm-hmm. those guys and the, the that third reich and they were like oh yeah let's just take this symbol this is cool but anytime we see this it, cool. immediately, what do we think of? We think of hate. We yeah, think yeah, of yeah. racism. The worst. But if somebody for, that lives in India who's never left like Mumbai or something, they're not going to see. Shout out to the Mumbai tribe. Mumbai high. Let me book the they're not going to see the same thing that we see. But again, it's all because of cultural difference. So I think very much so that's just one of those issues. Uh, but Jamie Foxx also issued an apology like I, I don't stand for that i'm not anti-semitism or i'm not an anti-semite what did he say so he, said, he said by they like he cleared it up he was yes. like by yes, they yes. i meant like the haters and the naysayers yes, yes. He meant like, and... like fake friends and things yeah, yeah. which he hashtag free... but Look, see but no, no let's get to the root of this because i feel like we're getting too political let's bring this shit back down to to to, to reality to, and to, to relativeness yeah to the street, street level not even yeah. the streets but just like like so, social Love media it. which is the new streets um yes. You gotta just be in tune with culture to 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 know what niggas is talking about. He just meant they. It's like like DJ Khaled when he be like, they don't want you to win. Who they? they. Like, like it's just miscellaneous they, the haters. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? It don't mean what? they, the we literal the like Who? we nigga. Like like that's what <laughs> that. he literally <laughs> said that. I know. Cancel and DJ Khaled. He did He's right. over. And, he and people are like right. Jews, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, smiles, bro. They're gonna be. There's gonna be a cease and desist on your door tomorrow. Smile. Commercial break right here, low on the, on the edits. Forty seven minute but, mark. Cut it. Thanks. Right. Bleep bleep. But, love but this is this is an example of white people jumping into black people's business without a life raft and not knowing what the fuck. Exactly. Going on. That's what I was getting at. That's what I was getting at. I, I love I that. At. But I would ask y'all, when we are not necessarily the mainstream society. Who's right? We, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Right. To, that's, us, that's to, to us, we are the mainstream society. We don't give a fuck about what's going on outside of us. Us as, as the black community. We're not worried about how is. I'm just saying, at a, at, on a certain level, we say and do our thing, and everybody comes to what we do. So, to Jamie Foxx's point, I don't think that this, partic- this particular statement that I'm making should have to be protected or or clarified in that sense as how they're taking it because my people already know like you just said the dj Khaled of they we who the the pronoun game amongst our community is the haters the outside man the everybody who's against us yes Mm -hmm. the culture gets us i shouldn't have to explain that to somebody who's not of the culture i'd offer just a bit of a counterpoint okay we often run into a similar issue when it comes to uh, tone deafness within mainstream society. Yeah. Yep. Mainstream America uses things or says things, and we be like, that's not that's what racist. we said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, that, that's racist. Like, oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know because they didn't know. Yeah. Or they, because it the experience. So I would say, that's why I asked, when is it appropriate? And when is it like, hey, that's not what I meant. So fuck off. Yeah. This, how, th- like, this how instance. Do you no, no, no. Yeah. This, this instance think, right now. Jamie Foxx did it. Like, hey, that, that wasn't would, you misread this. Fuck off, nigga. That that's wasn't going, what this meant. Going back to what I said about Neo, I would appreciate that happening more often because a lot of these times, a lot of this outrage is over something that was taken out of context. Or you can obviously see or the even reach. if it's someone you don't necessarily agree Mr. with. Mr. Fantastic you can, reach. Obviously, you could you could obviously see that what his intent was, what he or she's intent was when they said what they said. It just came out really, we're all really wrong, and people. It's like, like I, like we said on the show. I think all four of us have said it at least one time. Context is like something that is people have lost the idea of yes. what context is. Yes, they just know? jump now, to whatever the headline. Said, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yep. The headline is going to be bait. way bigger yep. than the article. Ain't nobody yep. reading that shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's, what, what's the body? Put, put that shit in bold. Right. If, if it ain't in bold. 
Right. That is but how I would society say people, operates. People will even know the whole story and still ignore the context just because they don't oh, care. You know? yeah. yeah. Very true. Yeah. I, I'd agree. Um, um oh, oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, like, like, I was I was about to cut us to break and then we gotta come back because we got more shit to talk about. Oh, I was gonna say we we, we still have one more of them things. No, no, but we can we can, we can no, load up later. I think we had the fifty minutes yeah, mark. Like, Jamie <laughs> needs to go on live in 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 the back seat of like his 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 Phantom or something or Maybach. Just and sing a do song, the same thing nigga. Neo did. D- d- sing a song, nigga. We'll be all right. right. Georgia, unpredictable. <laughs> Israel, Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all niggas singing Jamie and Ray Charles. I'm singing Justin Timberlake. Something's wrong. With I don't, me. Jamie is Jamie. Hey. He's a cultural classic that who needs to Jamie be. Fox he's an icon great. who <laughs> needs to be protected at all costs. At this particular point, hey. like the same way we we look at Martin, Will Smith, and all, we need to protect Jamie mm. Foxx too. Fuck it. Yes. Oh. I'll make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's all you need. Let's cut let's cut to some music. Uh this first track is by the homie Alex Kane. It's called Bang. It's off of a duck pull a truck. And then uh that's available on all streaming platforms. And then Miss Calls by the big homie Rude Boy Diego off of his latest project, Diego Pill Patrick. That's available on all streaming platforms as well. It's an audible ruckus. Motherfucker. The Cratchit Ratch. Who the fuck love you like a The strikers for them player haters lying about a bitch. Clock chasing hoes. Eyes on my grip. If your bitch wanna fuck me, just let me do my thing. Just duck the fuck back and let me load this clip. Let me bang. Stopping when that's the sin from God Wouldn't let me sit at they table I bought a fishing rod Teach a man to fish Catch up, mustard, we over that Niggas overlook you, come back around We grow from that Furthermore, I need what I need, homie Kaepernick Always been a stand-up nigga Unless I'm having sex I was on my back, it was to the wall I'm Michael Jack Off of that Back when we fucked the bitch Just off a hat Get the cap and if that was fly, she get the smack Probably bring the Remy, I get the poos if she pass a pap That's a rap. talk behind your back, then try to dap My number one priority, get the coin like laundry man Bang! Let me bang! Let me bang! Let me bang! Pushing coffee, it's time to grind, so rise and shine Cause I'm a hustler, I gotta go get my dollar signs I'm about my money, my money is all a nigga need My baby need, I'm out here slinging that cigarette weed Simple as that, put that pistol where your temple at You fucking dummy, for the money, I be at your neck Let that motherfucker bang if you disrespect Ain't too concerned about the game, I'ma get a check Simple as that, if they violate it, simple as fuck Ain't got no problem with fist or cuffs, nuck if you buck Get the gist, get the money, it's hand over fist They took a shot at the boss, but the pussy niggas miss Sang. Let me bang. What up, though? It's Uncle Skeetar, and you are listening to the Inaudible Ruckus Podcast. Okay, make sure you subscribe on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, and on SoundCloud. Okay, you can also go to the website and copy you some merch, inaudibleruckus.com slash shop. Solid dudes, solid topics, solid music. Inaudible Ruckus. Motherfucker. See, you really fucking squeaked on this bitch. I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet. There's such a difference between us and the million miles.
went 13 a piece and now we sharing this brick. And Tijuana having dinner with the motherfucking plug, bitch. You know it get real busy when you out here moving drugs, bitch. We back. That was Joe Dumars. No, no, my bad. No, no, no. Bang. I fucked it up. That bang. Was bang. <laughs> bang. That was Bang by the homie Alex Kane. And then Miss Calls by the homie Ruboy Diego. I'm back with the Yonada Bros. Look, you see they got my back, right? Like, like, I appreciate y'all. I got Smiles, E Ray, Cousin Free. What's the word, y'all? Maintaining, ready maintaining. Ready to go for war. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow, sure. okay. Smile, smile, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. What are we on right now? Right, right. Calm down. Yeah. Drugs. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Hey, look, after you see what happened, there, anyway, uh, before we get into some shit, we got to talk about the latest developments um, that went on. Um, Free called it. Tory Lanez was sentenced to 10 years in state prison in California for the incident that took place with Meg Thee Stallion. Tough break, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did, did, now we was watching this shit take place because of course DJ Academics was posting all the the the, the court transcripts and all that. Yo. I want to go to E Ray because you R and B man, right? Bobby Brown was on your playlist. Low key Tory is off, his fruit off of this tree through degrees of separation or whatever, but whatever. But you the R and B man. Yep. Do you think like like with this Tory situation, was the ten years fair or like like what the fuck is going on? You think they railroaded, dog? Um, it's interesting. I I can't necessarily they say they railroaded him okay. because the judicial system isn't fair it's and never, it's not it's set up fair. for us to succeed, especially in so California. Regardless, right? I'll say so. Regardless whether he was uh, like, however we feel about Tory Lanes, how we feel about Meg Thee Stallion, uh, his particular sentencing. Like, I, I just don't understand, like, sentencing, period. Yeah, yeah. Like, for me personally, it's like, okay, well, you brandished a gun, but we didn't say that you necessarily shot the person. All these things, and they create the sentencing based on that. And I've never understand from a judicial standpoint of how a person can rape, murder, or so-and-so a person and get seven years or six years, and then somebody sold yeah. drugs and get life sentences. So, Again, to me, none of this shit necessarily makes sense. Uh, gotcha. As far as the Tory Lane situation goes, um, I think perhaps this may be a bit, I don't want to say excessive, but I am interested to see if this is really about like rehabilitation or okay. what's going to happen if Man. he actually does the 10 years or whatever the case may be. They ain't really. Mm -hmm. Ca California State Prison is free. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I only said it because I know you, you, you're a social worker. You you work in, in, in that environment, you, and you are a California correspondent, so you know how it works. They ain't rehabilitating shit. No prison is rehabilitating any. Yeah. But, I mean, shit, it is what it is in this case. Damn, you you don't give a fuck about Tori. I was a, I like Tori's music. Like Tori's music. I mean, I like but his music too. Said, but shoot, you, you know what the free. fuck you did? Do you really like, what? shoot black women? <laughs> we ain't gonna go back to that. We ain't gonna but I mean, what what do we say on this? What do you say on the show, Lalo? You play stupid games, you want stupid prizes. Yeah, nigga, yeah. here's your but, prize. But he still maintains his innocence. He was like, I only admitted to 
I don't know. It, so, it, it's I guess a lot, me, it's a lot let, of gymnastics. That's a better question. Okay, yeah, that, that's okay. a better question. So take us through, Ray. Take I'll say take Tory Lanes out of it. Okay. Period. Do you think it's right or fair for person to get ten years for brandishing a gun in California? He, when, I mean, California has strict gun laws. Yeah, so, they, they, strict yeah, gun laws. And, 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 and they have mandatory right. and, and again, so but that's but not I'd what happened. It, that's that's what some people feel that happened. But what happened according to this? This he brandished a gun. The gun went off. Whether he meant to, whether he shot her or it was a struggle or something. Yeah. That, uh, he's li- that, he is liable that the for conviction what versus right it, it, I, 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 but I'm that's with, where the semantics come in I, where I, the I'm conviction free. being people say oh he shot and her I feel it wouldn't have came right. to this he that, did it though. Just been like, if from the beginning he would have been like, number one he would have shut the fuck up stop letting these people See, gas him up yeah because mm-hmm. he didn't shut the fuck um, up he did not yeah. shut the fuck up stop um, letting these people gas you up just be like be straight with them hey even if because if he didn't shoot her it was like hey I was drinking got into a scuffle the gun went off just nigga she, she even tried to lie way. for him initially but he yes. was popping mm-hmm. off at if the mouth would, and all that if he if he would have shut the fuck up she would have covered for him and none of this would have happened yep and they offered him a plea yeah. deal before the thing even started and he would have had less years than what he got well, now well yeah. what was the plea deal though right it was like six years I know, I know it was like six years yeah, I'm not taking that. And you don't have to do the full ten. Now you got to do eighty five percent of the seven years. Mm-hmm. You got to do eighty five percent of it, so they'll probably do which is eight. about eight they years. They might give him time. They might give him time, sir. Too. He only got ten months though. We thought he had yeah. been locked up for like a year and a half, two years. He only been yeah, there ten months, might, and he's probably gonna appeal it too. Because yeah, still got I, niggas yeah, gassing him up. Yeah, so I fully expect, and and again, it's not about gassing him up. It's not about any of that. I think, but there are people gassing him up. For sure, but mm-hmm. th- that that's negligible. Uh, who cares about that? What I what I guess I am particularly more interested in is him going to appeal this process and what happens from the appeals. Gotcha. So, because me personally, as you just spoke to and Lo spoke to, uh, this whole complex of fucking jailing and prison is not about rehabilitation. So for anybody to get these years without like murdering someone without being an abuser or any of these things like that i think is very easily prominent to be like okay yeah you can go ahead and yeah, appeal for 22 years yeah. right because yeah. uh, these things just feel extremely excessive for like just people where which I, again i don't know state to state laws are so different and it's weird and I but i i just like okay well how does this play into his career moving forward? Well, he faces, let's talk um, about it. He faces deportation even after his release. Well, before right. that, I'm fine with a violent crime being punishable by this time. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that or something that could even be potentially violent. Um, but, but see, I'm again, that, that too. that's the semantics. Cause again, I think, unfortunately you are still putting on some of the Tory lanes ness on to him. What you if mean? We just how, how, it, break down. It's break not that. You E-ray. can take Tory Lanez away away from that. And if this is well, a situation with anybody, hold on, I'll be like you know what? I'm not pushing. I'm not really pushing back about what happened. Hold on, free E Ray. Like break that down. Like like the concept yeah, the that you're talking Lanez. about. Yeah. Because uh, I I didn't want to. We didn't want to like land here, or stay here. But mm-hmm. just saying, as far as the the Tory Lanez ishness of him, Tory Lanez is a very uh in wrestling terms we can call heel. He's yeah, a person yeah, yeah. that is the bad very guy. easily, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a person that's very egotistical, and or at least his character is very uh-huh. much bravado. He created yeah. the songs, and even during the trial, yeah. him and Meg anti. Was going back and he, forth. he was anti yeah. against the shit. Like, yeah, nigga, like, yeah. nah. Big personality. Yeah. He's a short person. So again, it, these are just mm-hmm. things. But I think, and we had talked about this from day one with free having a, a feeling like, man, fuck that nigga. He, da, 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 da. and it's like. Cool, I get that. Mm-hmm. But anybody, again, and we have to separate him actually shooting a person from what he was convicted of being that he brained the weapon. person. So, and I was like, and that person. So, if we're gotcha. not even thinking about Tory Lane's period and saying, okay, well, Tory, uh, excuse me, random individual had a gun out, would we feel like, all right, well, that's cool that he just gets 10 years from this in comparison to is random that, said and person you also that raped the person? Is- and and then and got convicted. They know he did it, and it was like, you know what? We don't want to ruin it's your Calif- life. It's California. Has- it's California. Is but you also have to look at it like gun. this. That that that. A lot yeah. of 
a I, lot of times prosecutors may want to charge you with the with the thing they think you did like we think you shot this person yeah. you may not be able to prove it we can prove this so we're going to nail you for this and give you the most maximum we can for this because we pretty we're 90 percent sure you did that but we just don't have the 10 percent to make it stick yeah but yeah, sure. we're 100 percent sure you did but this. remember so we'll remember this one, give you the max one of the main things of his defense was that like him and the other the other best friend the other chick that was in the car both had gun, gun had That's gun the, uh gun right. residue powder on, all you need on, is on probable their hands. Uh, I was like, again, he, uh, he was leaning fuck? on that but to freeze point because he was popping the shit that he was popping that made it look like nah nigga like we, you did that shit that's why they went after him harder the gun of the whole the jailhouse interview was kind of damning for him too yeah. I mean not the interview the phone call the phone call it's kind of like, damning. Yeah. That kind of damning. And that saying, I don't know about any, any of that stuff all I'm uh, I guess again all I wanted to address particularly was even with the you know as you said low the the he's popping his shit yeah. even the judge spoke to us specifically and said i'm not going to like try to penalize you from that when i'm thinking about sentencing and all this stuff i'm trying to look at it because if you're presumed innocent that's your right right you're able to do this yeah so that's fair just, that's fair on the judge yeah, though that's fair. It, exactly so it's, one of the few times where the judge actually kept it objective that, that's fair and that's probably why she the judge he or she or the judge had to go off of whatever the mandatory minimum was because yeah. california right. yeah has right. that so they, the and judge, and I, they I know, just keeping they it down the line so, i can't yeah, be mad the judge at that has no yeah. control right. over that yeah. so i think for the most part realistically it's just kind of a I'm not calling him a victim, but he's a victim of circumstance. Yes. Circumstance yes. being yes. that he was in California. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, no, that, that's it. If this had been actions. Texas, oh, if, if this had been oh in Houston, he would. He, the he, consequences he, yeah. of my own actions. Well, no, no, no. Oh, what I'm, man. Nah, what I'm saying. I went e See, look, see I if, told you, if, bro, you just got you just got hate in your soul. How did like, hate? I because it was like, oh, if he was in Texas, nigga, he would jail. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I do some dumb shit and don't want to take free, accountability, free, hold on. Wait, are you not going to call me out on that? Go Smiles. Go Smiles. No, because I was going to say, because you know, if it happened in Texas, Texas love guns. So That's what I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. I, oh, this would have been another gun here. You but that was it. <laughs> I, I'm trying to strip the, the Tory Lanes-ness out of and just saying, like, Understood. from a very generic standpoint, his celebrity he's a victim status of didn't have, yes, yes. Being I, I'm with E-Ray. He's his, in the wrong place. His, his this, celebrity had occurred. nothing to do with this. It was more so, this is California. This is how yeah. we feel about guns. And this you're is a big what happened. case, so we're yeah. going we to yeah. let you have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... so my thing is this I have a question just for the streets did Meg snitch or not because she took the stand against dog I don't, I, he, hear me out hear me out I'm not, I'm not even trying to be petty but I, I, I'm just asking because remember the I, I only ask even for us and the listeners out there remember the Lil' Kim situation with that hot 9-7 shootout and all that so mm -hmm. did Meg snitch or not E-Ray go oh. so first First and foremost, if I'm speaking, if we're speaking about the same situation with Little Kim, then she perjurized herself. So yeah, because she it was on tape and yeah. she lied against it because she was like, "Nah, right. I ain't telling." Right. Because so, I took the stand and it just ain't this like, was really right. fucking dumb. Exactly. But so mm -hmm. for for the Meg situation, but if she would have told, if she would have cooperated, it would have been snit. Now nah, hold on, you ready? Before you go, I just want to paint the Little Kim shit. For we got young niggas who don't know. They wasn't. They wasn't alive. This 50th anniversary Lil of hip hop. Kim, I don't even know who What's that is. Right, right, right. No, the little Kim shit was the shit was caught on tape. She spoke against what was on tape, and they was like, "Oh, you perjurized yourself. You going to jail?" She was like, "But I took the stand, and I ain't snitched though because she didn't admit to what was already on tape. So while she didn't snitch, it was still kind of stupid because they already had it yeah. on tape. But that's how the streets work. So that's yeah. why I'm asking with Meg." She could have did the look, Kim, okay. but she chose not to. So, E-Ray, now you go. Like, I just okay. wanted to paint it. Um, I wanted to paint so, that premise. So, two two things. One, low. Uh, they're going to tell you, stay out of women's business. So, it don't matter. It don't, no, it doesn't matter. Not, hey, no, tell it's women to stay not. out the streets, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Well, nigga, the street business. That, was a, that, that, that too. <laughs> but that goes to my second point, being that she's not from the street or she's not claiming the streets. Okay. So okay, where okay. Meg, yeah, that was my thing. Like, I say Meg is it? is never saying like, oh, I ain't claiming it, but, nigga. I'm in street. I'm in She-Hulk. I'm, I'm in a fucking musical about dicks or some shit. She's doing all. <laughs> she's way away from streets. When they when it came to the man whose name we don't say around here, yeah, you're like, hey, yeah, yeah. 
fuck that. Da, da, da. She's saying everything. She's yeah. always saying stuff. Yeah. So she ain't got nothing to do with the streets. She ain't so. abiding by and, that shit. Got you. And got you. Yeah. lastly, it's her situation. I think if it's your situation, you can talk about it as you as you please. Yeah. So that that and that's well, one well, thing. Again, well, no. I, e- said, I e- never e- try e- to defend e- Corey e- Lanes. I just wanted to speak no, no, on no. both sides of, of you, you. You right there. I'm just saying public consensus wise and how hip hop is. Everybody feels like hip hop is for the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but, but to your point, and, if, if she's and, not and claiming and the streets, not, she, yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah, got I'm you. with I'm with E Ray on this because it's not like they were like doing a robbery together and they both all got him. Not and she free, the finger free, at him. free. You know enough about hip hop to understand that's not how this works. That's not how this. Well, no, works. because niggas Take, change the rules every day. They, they, they do. do something different. That's what I'm getting yeah. at. That's what I'm getting at. She took the stand in 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 the rules. Taking the stand on anything, period, is considered stitches. I mean, there's that's niggas where that I'm getting are mad. There's niggas that are for Tory Lanez for the sole fact that she lied about sleeping with him. That's why niggas, a lot of niggas is mad at, at, at her in the first place. So who knows at this point? Yeah, that yeah. does establish mm-hmm. reasonable doubt and character. Uh, Stuff though. It, it, well, that's it, why we were all saying been, for a while. Nigga, no, but been watching Law and Order. <laughs> Goddamn, we, were, we weren't just saying but... Tori needs to shut the fuck up. We were also saying Meg exactly. needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right? I was yeah. like, everybody yeah. shut up. Everybody yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, go home. Both Maybe, their lawyers were probably so through with them by the end but, of that. But no, it Meg, was, Meg did. It would have been lovely. Meg if... at the beginning did try to lie to protect Tori. <laughs> She did. She, like, she tried. She was like protecting right. a black man. So she. So so I say that to say she tried. To adhere to the code, and I'm sure there's a lot of niggas that but got she was one like, body that they'll either lie about or take to the grave. So, <laughs> and by body, relate. you mean body? Okay, not body. Not body. Oh, 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 oh my bad. I was talking about something else. I was talking about something else. You need to make. You gotta make this a clip of the week. Not not body body. <laughs> Make this a clip. <laughs> bodies of bodies. Uh, bodies on bodies. Body yeah, body I, I, body body. Right right. <laughs> I, I was thinking about something else, but yeah, you're right. Go ahead, free. We gonna roll with your, what you said. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Niggas got bodies that they take <laughs> on both cords. <laughs> on both cords. <laughs> right. I'm like. Uh, well. Anyway, freak. Right. Low. Get us out. Here. All right. Um. <laughs> so. We all agree, man. It's fucked up. It's unfortunate, man. Now, I will say this. Tory Lane's hairline about to take the worst hit out of all of this shit because, like, goddamn, nigga, he gonna be in there 10 years. He ain't got access to the plugs. Wait, yeah, wait and, a second, and, though. And they said his doctor was one of the uh, people that uh, tried to vouch for him, wrote the letters. Everybody uh, wrote smiles. You see smiles. Get cooked for writing a smiles. letter for him? Free. Smiles. Free. Smiles. Both of y'all. E-Ray. All, everybody. 25 niggas wrote the letters to, to help get this nigga out. I don't know about y'all. A- as somebody who actually had to stand in front of a judge before, that letter shit actually does matter and it does work. I'm not going to oh, lie to okay. you, nigga. I was, gonna say, I was getting letters written for me, nigga, when I had my little situation. And my little situation was small. It was exactly a little situation. Mm-hmm. And getting letters written actually helped. So the fact that he had letters written... Yeah, they say he had like 70 something like 70. That. And, and 70 left. Probably should have asked Mary J. Blige and not Iggy Azalea. <laughs> yeah, when she, so when she wrote I Mario was I, like, he's on my new single. <laughs> no, I when Iggy Azalea <laughs> said, I've sold now, so boy. many albums, I'm like, listen here, woman. Right, right. Why are you humble bragging in the nah, camera? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You're supposed to talk about all the positives and, and just lay it on as thick as possible. That's the, that's the critique. I'm just yeah. telling you, somebody who's in that situation before, write, say as much nice things as you can, however you can. Whatever is relevant to you and how I've impacted you in a I, positive way. I replaced way. his hair follicles. Yes. And <laughs> yes. they were no, the no, nicest no, follicles facts. that we've facts. ever the, followed. The, the best. Know? Absolute have, best. Better than China. Like, like, like that's how you're supposed China. to go about that shit. Like, like, like facts. I'm, I'm not he lying to you. With me I, 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 I will probably respect. have a baby with him when he gets out and he'll leave me like Playboy Cardi did. Hey, that too. Like, 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 it is what it is. But let's move on. Let's move on. Um, I was... For, for, uh, toy, keep your head up. It's unfortunate. Hopefully, you can appeal to shit. I don't know. Night, night. Keep your butthole tight. <laughs> you like Neezy. Neezy said on, on the Skeeters episode, she was like, don't drop the soap. And then we just moved on. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to move on here. Um, 
Go check out the Skeeters episode. <laughs> Follow Naturally Nay on YouTube. Uh, the Montgomery Brawl. This is what niggas came to hear. I don't know how far into the episode this is going to be. This is deep off into the second <laughs> segment. But uh, the Montgomery Brawl, there was a situation that happened. If you don't know by now, look, this is not one of those where we got to go through the play-by-play because just go Google that shit and you will just yeah. learn and educate yourself. What happened was a racial situation turned off where some privileged white folks with white hubris decided to, to take off on a black man who was doing his job and then they beat him up. And they learned. And the other black folks in the area decided, no, not today. They fucked around. And they found Found out. 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 So I I, want to ask y'all. Y'all seen the thing. Because there's so much that happened. It's so much like where to start from and all that. I just want to ask y'all, what are y'all thoughts on the entire situation? Because like, like it's it's, it's so much to unpack here. But like, and and like, you see people doing reenactments and and like, Mm. like, like this nigga swam over here. This nigga hit this nigga Mm. with the chair. It ran social media for the last, I don't know. Yes. Sorry, six days now. Yes. Yeah, it's like, surprising because it hasn't jumped hours. the shark yet. Please. To me, it has. No, it did, these it viral did, moments no. jumped the shark within free, like three free, days. Free, free, no, it jumped the shark when people did a reenactment playing it out. Like, like it is. It's to okay. me, it jumped the shark when a nigga posted he got a tattoo of a chair on his arm. Oh my god, uh, like that nigga too. I'm a Detroit like, rapper made a whole song about it like twenty four hours. Hey, that song slaps though. So it does. It does. Me. So, so real quick before we get off into it, I just want to say. My cheer game at the brawls back in the day growing up was legendary. I'm the cheer man. Literally. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, um, niggas was about that chair that. Like, like, I was practicing my chair jutsu. <laughs> like, they was on yeah. now. Nah, nah, bro. Like, it's a whole mythology. Like, I was teaching niggas this shit back in the day. Like, look, if you're going to throw a chair or hit a nigga with a chair, you got to make sure you have the proper spacing and this and that. This is why. I got to paint this shit for the podcast. Y'all can't see me if y'all listen to this shit, right? But, like, think about it. If we fighting, I don't know where that nigga got that folding chair from on that dock, but let's say we in the club with chairs and shit, right? You have to decide, like, if you have enough space to pull the chair and, like, raise it up above your head because, like, th- here's the thing. If you raise the chair before your head and you, like, before you ready to swing it or use it, a nigga could just punch you in your face and your face is exposed. Right, Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you from experience So what you gotta do is You gotta time it So if your mans take off on a nigga And some other niggas And you gotta make sure it's space to hoist the chair Right Uh because if it's a bunch of niggas standing around You may not be able to get it up over your head Like you know what I'm saying You gotta It's chair etiquette You know what I'm saying You uh, it's a lot of factors you gotta yeah yeah up. you gotta play all this shit into well, into effect and so, like in like 0.5 me, seconds me and E-Ray watch wrestling so we know how to swing a chair no 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 that bitch that, like, that, like the rock hitting Mick free, Foley at, free, the, at 99 free, Royal Rumble free that's wrestling I'm talking about real life this is real hey. life this is real life hey. Hey, I'm swinging Man. it, but I'm not protecting niggas. I'm swinging that shit right. unprotected. I'm trying uh, to cause. I was like, if, if <laughs> let, let me speak Man. to it back back in back in your day when you were watching wrestling, low, those shots were real life. I know. Those, I those know. Those I know. Shots I'm talking about. Facts. Facts. <laughs> we ain't talking about right now where they they open it back up like, go oh, ahead, hit me. I'm talking about when they was just turn around. No, 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 no. No, no, bust it open I, the hard way. I'm not. I'm not discounting that. What I'm saying is, in a real, that's the ring. That's the ring. I feel you. That's real. It's still real. In real life, though, got, you 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 got gotta, you gotta like maneuver and be able to be in I a position to actually swing that bitch. You don't in have enough life, space. It's not enough in, space to get that shit off unless in real you're prepared. Life, I shouldn't be in a club that has folding chairs anyway. <laughs> just, you just, not, just like, hey, you didn't grow up in Detroit. All right, so like <laughs> facts. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, not like, the like, D. Like, I'm the E. They don't have folding chairs. But, but E Ray, E Ray, E Ray. Replace folding chairs with bar stool, and then there you go. Like it's, it's, okay. it's oh yeah, it's, that, it's, but that's a yeah. different. Yeah. Ah, nah, it's it's, it's, the, it's mm-hmm. the same. It's the same. Mm-hmm. It's the same. It, it, no, you gotta use that like a weed whacker. See the folding chair you can you can you know you get the I got you. I got you. Abductor, you 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 swing from here. Cool. It's an over the top action versus an across action. Right, yeah. It's like motion, like, you know, axe chop. So for the listeners out there, I hope y'all listening, man. Like, it's a difference between your vertical swing and your horizontal swing when you're hitting niggas with a chair. 
That's yeah. what it is. Now Absolutely. that that OG dude who was hitting on people with the chair, he definitely got a felony charge for aggravated assault with an attempted like bodily harm with a, with a, a deadly weapon <laughs> with a with an attempted mm-hmm. seat. I'm just saying that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, thoughts, I, I mean, thoughts on so, this shit. Thoughts on this shit. Go, go E Ray. Go, go. Go. Number one, I, I said this on uh, Let Me Book, but I must apologize because I, I know I'm, I'm not ridiculous. I know I'm self centered, but I really feel like this all happened because of me. Um, it, oh, it, it's crazy <laughs> because. I, I'm a firm believer. Energy cannot be uh, created nor destroyed. It is just Transfer. merely transferred. Yep. Yep. And when I tell you that this random man that popped up on me was about to get face washed with this C4 can I had in my hand after ah, SummerSlam, I see now. And I was like, I had to tuck that shit in. The energy was there. I was like, oh, we got kinetic energy. It was about to put it in motion, but I didn't. He walked away properly as he should because i gave him the look i said uh he said uh i said uh and it, and, it, and it got dispersed that energy as we all know because we live in texas we are from more so the midwest area yeah. the the energy much like the winds it travels north to south yeah. so from north <laughs> to south yeah i brought it from detroit it went straight uh, down to Alabama. I swear, I woke it, up. It, it didn't my, make it back to Texas. It didn't. Uh-uh, because it shot right back up to Detroit. You yeah, seen a yeah, nigga get hit yeah, in the head with a chair. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, the energy is yep. crazy. What up, y'all? It's your boy Smiles, a.k.a. the hip-hop Adam Schefter, a.k.a. the Josh James, a.k.a. the pod-headed demon. I just wanted to let y'all know to tune into my show, The Music Impulse, Inside the Anodiverse, every week. On this show, you got me doing one-on-one interviews with different people such as podcasters, artists, entrepreneurs, all types of people. You might even check out some of my episodes where I got family on it. You know, just get to know me a little bit more. Hey, just know, just tune into the show, The Music Impulse, every week inside the Unautiverse. It's your boy Smiles and I'm out. So with that said, I'm like, oh shit, I should have just clean wash this nigga and then this never would have happened but i'm happy i didn't because now we all have another holiday it's beautiful because we we they all had january 6th we got august 6th i mean we had juneteenth we got juneteenth and august 6th mm-hmm. nigga, I, I was like we need to listen to crime mob all day on august nook, 6th. if you Every buck ho nook if you buck ho nook 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 no, no, if you oh. buck, oh, crime up, get get to get to nigga on the street. Mm. You can't be, you cannot just be proud. That that must be like the new Black National Anthem right now. It, it was a fine moment. I thought, how about these fine, black, beautiful people standing up for themselves in a small town? Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck Jason Aldean or whatever that try is. that yeah. in small town. Yeah, they, they did. <laughs> they did. He did. He, they yeah. did. Yeah. I think small, I will. I think small, I will try that. Small town Alabama, that. like like right. I think and, I think I will try that. Thank you very much. And and uh, it was it was wild. I thought it was a great uh showcase of number one support for the elderly. That gentleman mm-hmm. was clearly on his way to uh retirement. The upper room. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe that too. That's why he threw his hat up there. Like, I'm coming to live with us. Let me throw that shit up there. I'm just trying to make money for my grandkids. They start school this week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then right. you got to pull up the, with this white foolishness. And then here you go. These people got drunk disorderly. He's just trying to do his job. And then, number two, I've seen the movie Pride. I love that movie with uh, Aquaman. Yeah, Terrence Howard. Howard. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and all... And he said, "This is our house, Coach." He jumped in that water, and they would just start taking bro, bro, off. They hold, called him Jamichael Felt. Hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, hold on. The, the, the yeah, nigga that, that was swimming, and I said this on the Skeeters episode, bro. Halfway oh, through, he probably was like, "God damn, this is a long ass." Like, because you're swimming <laughs> against the current, you're in the river. This not just yeah. swimming, swimming. He like, damn, I'm tired. And I, I heard he's though. only 16. And he was really he, he yeah, was trying to take up for his family. And he doesn't want any publicity. He wants to be left alone. So that's good. Leave him alone. That's good. Because people yeah, are leave trying him to alone, like identify. Yeah, leave him alone because he'll be a sixteen piece. You seen them hands? Pop, 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 pop. 
Because people are trying to identify job, him and profile him, and he just wants to be left alone. So just leave him alone, people. Look, he needs his own Marvel character. DC Universe hit him Aquaman. up. Aquaman. Aquaman. Uh, right, right, was, right. He got his own character. It was character a fantastic... Already. Look, form was fantastic. I also thought it was an incredible job of uh, us being able to depict from like a almost a first take standpoint of the things that you know you fucked up in, in white culture mm. when black people are doing certain things. The hat, number one, when that hat flew up, yeah. Bobby Smurda style. The bat yep. signal, as they call it. Yeah, that was a bat oh, signal. Yeah. Man. You knew what it was up. It I was guess. like, oh, shit. You about to catch now, a bite. Now, I, I told Neezy this. All right, all right. I, I want to bring this here. Hood knowledge, hood knowledge. <laughs> Back in the day, it was a little trick that we used to use, like when you about to get into it, like a a, a one on one a with a nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you a know scuffle. what I'm saying. You, you take a pen, a hat, whatever you had on you, and just like throw it up in the air, like like not up up in the air the way that nigga threw it, but yeah. like you kind of like throw it and so it, it caused the person yeah. that you standing across from to look up, and then you punch him in the neck after uh, after okay. they look up. <laughs> I thought when he was like, oh, yeah, and threw it up, I thought that's what he was doing. But he threw that shit up way too high for that. He threw that shit like a flare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> Bruh, that's what it was. Excuse me. That's what it was. I'm thinking it's some Signal. Detroit shit where he like, whoop, and you look up right. and he just, bam. Distraction. Just, yeah. Distraction. That wasn't the no. case. So. Uh, I, I thought that was great. I also was like, holy shit, whenever you see multiple black men skipping because you <laughs> black men don't skip yeah so if they skip it they skip it to the fade yeah mm -hmm. get out of there clear out because we no, no good is happening when you see three to four black men just skipping mm -hmm. like <laughs> my, fa my favorite part of the brawl was that it's like halfway through where it's like the three dudes and they all standing up, squaring up, and then the white guys is like, ah, nah, we don't want it, and they walk away, and the white and the black dudes rush them anyway. That's realistic. I've seen that happen before. We're like, we don't want it, nah, nigga, you asked oh, for no, it, and this is what it, it is. You gonna get it, right. and, and, well, and that's what I'm saying because they thought like, nah, it's cool, like nah, bro, you about to get dog walked but, up. The but you know why walk. though? This is the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if anybody has ever played Streets of Rage or any of these 2D side scroller beat 'em up games. Very, very similar. Uh, you, you, you lose so much energy. The, the white dudes were were the technically, quote unquote, the protagonist in their mm. own mind. Yeah. So they're just like, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. and they're fighting. <laughs> they got they 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 energy bar going down because they they taking some some hits, but they also getting to jump. Said uh, retire retiree uh, yeah. candidate. Yeah. They they think they about to clear the board, so they get to the end. They see the arrow like, eh, 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 go go. So they get on their thing. They're like, okay. They think the energy bar about yeah, to fill back yeah, up. Yeah. Then here comes Biff, John, Jamichael. <laughs> They're like, wait, Marquise. I thought the board was clear. Right, right. <laughs> nah, Where did nigga, they come from? Mob, nigga. What right. you mean? With hundred percent energy, come whip off in their ass. It was a cause, boss fight. Cause, cause, they wasn't cause these these was big black dudes with dreads. And I said this. I said this off wax. I said this on the Skeeters episode. Go check that shit out on the Inauderverse. Do it. This was the white the white man's worst nightmare as far as getting dog walked with your women and your family by niggas. Yeah. It is it's the worst. They don't want that. You don't want to you, you don't want to be with your wife and you get bust upside the head with a chair. Your wife get bust upside the head with a chair and y'all can do nothing about it by some niggas that you don't like. No, Blake, no. Yeah. Uh, what what which, you going to do about that? Which brings me to my last point. Mm -hmm. Uh the women were getting busy. Yeah. Them women was like, "Oh, Hands, 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 hands. Mm -hmm. And it was fantastic to see. I felt, I felt like this is how we technically should celebrate Juneteenth moving forward. We should just watch this video over and over and over from all <laughs> multiple different angles because it just shows so much black unity. It's like, man, I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe black people should be a monolith. This is what I said. We should vote in We should. Said, I said, we, said, we, said, we said, come together like that. that. We would solve so many problems. I said that. So many problems. I said that. My nigga swam. Bro, that, that, that's the main thing. Like, like that's how on it he was. Right. He disproved a racial stereotype and 
actually enforce the racial stereotype almost in the same moment. Yeah. He was like, oh, yeah. niggas can't swim. And oh shit, niggas is fighting. <laughs> same yeah. difference. So, like, so, so beautiful. Speaking of that, and again, E Ray, E Ray painted it so eloquently. Like, like that's what it is, man. Stand up for each other at the root of this. Now, I will say this, and we can move on. As 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 marvelous as that may have been, or as much as that may have it, like, oh yeah, it's good to see black people see it. Chef's kiss. We in trouble now. Because like I just yeah. told you, the white man is intimidated and 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 they feel like, oh no, they ain't about to do that to us. So you about to see more and more footage of young black men getting shot by the police. Book it. You know what, what I'm saying? What else is new? I'm, yeah. I mean, no, 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 or... no, no, no. What else is new free? Yes, but you about to see it in more concentration. It's about to be heavier in the rotation. Mm. It's that time for the cycle to kick back in for you to see that. We know it's been going on, but you about to see it heavier and heavier. Like like more and more now. This well, shit low key, it's a dog whistle for the for for the bullshit. Like it's it's a race war low key. Like like it's about well, to be that. Well shit. let me let me uh prop up a possibility. Okay. What if this was the thing that we needed? Because again, a lot of us seen this to break that cycle. So instead of just putting that, that film now, now people d- go back just like it was with Black Panthers and all these other things. Oh no, we're not going to stand by and just allow said person, even if you are law enforcement, to just murder and kill E-Ray, a black person. E-Ray, I hope what you're saying is the case, but I don't know. I'm just going to wait and see. I oh, hope. Well, I, I don't ho- know either. I, but I, I'm ho- I hope our people will rally and, and be able to defend one another in these types of situations. You have to understand too. Let's paint context because we talk about how big context is. Mm-hmm. That's Alabama. Lower Alabama, like like is is well Montgomery, Alabama is is yeah. what it is. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's all types of like race. They, they, you seen the, the think pieces coming up? Like, oh, this was a former place where they used to trade slaves and they brought us off the boat and all of that. So hey, I don't know Alabama, right? Everywhere I mean, else. not everywhere. only that, but <laughs> government officials right, in Alabama right. have passed laws where the man, no matter how the city votes, especially if it's a black city, there's an overarching. Um, policing, yes, that police yes. that city, but that's what I'm so, saying now. So now yeah, you just so. made it open season on niggas in Alabama. Is is my point? That's what I'm trying mm-hmm. to make. Like, so we can celebrate it and oh yeah, hit niggas with chairs. Uh, yeah. But now it's open season on niggas in Alabama. Do you really want that? And if that's the case, are y'all prepared to do that every time? It's I mean, my I was point. supposed to. Yeah, if you feel like it don't matter who the person across the table is. If you feel like you need to defend yourself, defend yourself. Not, but, but especially when your safety is threatened. So, so, so free, and that, so free. I, I bring this up to the pod. I, I, I get where we coming from, and I'm with you. But I'm saying, from a nigga who grew up in an environment where we policed ourselves and 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 we looked out for each other against like the oppressor and all this now whatever. Are y'all not your y'all on this podcast, but the listener? Mm-hmm. Are y'all prepared to stand up? When it's time to stand up, when the shit jump off in front of you, whether it be large scale, small scale, when a situation like this jumps off in front of you, are you prepared to rally together as Mm -hmm. one, possibly take a charge for your fellow black man because you don't want to see him being packed out by by the oppressor? Like, is is my point. That's all I'm saying, and, and you don't have to answer. That's a rhetorical question. Like, 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 right, like, like right, right. for everybody to consecrate on their heart themselves. Are y'all ready for that shit? Because we yeah. can laugh at the memes and the jokes and, and and all of that, but are you prepared to stand up for you and yours if and when the shit goes off? That's let, it. Let me ask you. Let me ask a ask. A, right, because we gotta me, go. Excuse we me. Gotta let me answer a question with ahead. a question. Go ahead. Lo, how did you feel when you seen it? Did you feel any sense of pride or joy when you I seen? I did. Okay, I did. Uh, free. How about yourself? What did you? You feel? know, honestly, I've never. Wa- I haven't watched the whole video beginning to end. I've just seen clips. Right. But from what I saw, shit was hilarious. I'll, I'll it, ask it was you hilarious. again in 2025, and I'll see if you if you seen it then. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> have you? 
I'm not watching any video that's longer than two minutes. I'm sorry. All those videos were 18 seconds long. <laughs> but no, that's what I did. I watched the clips, oh, yeah. but there's it like one to be long 455 form. different Yeah, there was one long form view. that was like over three minutes. So free, like, you you know, if you watch four yeah. different 18 second clips, you watched the whole video. Anyway, go yeah, ahead. I had that's what I did. That's go, what I did. Go, go ahead, E-Ray. <laughs> oh, so wow. I did watch it. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I see what you did That's all I'm saying, but go ahead, E-Ray. Smiles. Continue. Yeah. What 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 sense did it did it invoke in you when you watched this video? After I I laughed at it the first time because I I was more like this is wild this is crazy ideal I was like yeah this is fucking awesome I love this so fucking I, awesome. I, I, turn me to a white man it's fucking right, awesome dude. right it's awesome, dude. fucking awesome bro dude dude, dude smash it where's, like, smash where's, it the, like, where's the fucking glow right dude, right bro <laughs> he Give beat me a couple the shit out of and I'm a whip man he, ass, he beat the out of that fucking crotch. <laughs> Uh, but I, I asked this fucking crux, for the reason dude. because I feel like it, it, and it's still the same thing in me. So if we're asking others that are possibly listening to this, and you know, yeah. and even further, and as it reverberates, what are you willing to do? Perhaps this is a catalyst to get us to see what unity looks like yeah. and how to operate moving forward. So I can unity. only hope. I hope so. I hope. I, look, 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 I, we all. Do. I can only hope so. You feel what I'm saying? Because them niggas wasn't going. Yeah, so, over this next year, I feel like it's. Yeah, well, we're gonna see. Look, look, look you if, have, if the police, if, if the police be on some bullshit with me, hopefully y'all nigga, if if y'all in earshot, hopefully y'all can come to my you aid. Got that C4 Bruh. can. On Avenge it. me! Hey, look, <laughs> me and my dogs done already stood in front of the police and been like, hey, like we'll be just, like. Never mind. We don't have right, right. we don't have incidents hey. with people and the police were standing there like, hey, and we was like, man, we don't give a fuck to the police standing right here. Fuck right. on. Um wrong is wrong. Right. We'll sort it out later. Right. You feel me? Keep that look, look, save your money, do podcasts, get money in this net so you can bail yourself out of jail. That's all that's the moral of the story. Um, all right. Free. Your favorite part of the podcast is upon us. This Damn, Nick. Oh, really? Hard knocks is back. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? The Jets have been have, have been featured. Liv Schreiber flew in on a. Is that how you say his name? Mm-hmm. Lee. It's like leave. I think it's Lee. Lee. Whatever. I'm not Lee. fucking Schreiber. fucking ass guardian ass. Name. I was gonna say I'm not Anglo-Saxon. I don't know how to like, like fucking fucking say, ass guardian and shit. Right, right. Liv Schreiber yeah. like flew down on a helicopter to the Jets it practice facility did. to spend time with Aaron Rodgers first episode. I feel like they had to do that in order to like give to to hype it up because it was a little meh to me, but free. I yeah, want to ask was, you first. Go ahead. It was Hard Knocks aka the Aaron Rodgers fluff piece. Let's make Aaron Rodgers into a good guy. You think so? That's pretty much what the first episode turn. was about. Face turn yeah, it was a face turn. turn. It was the face turn. The Aaron Rodgers the anti-vaxxer. Face turn. Because I did like the the he's he's trying to be the LeBron of the Jets, have a different handshake with everyone on the team. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But other than that, I like the Zach Wilson I reclamation project too. Day. That was interesting. Hold on, to see the Zach Wilson reclamation project. Gotcha. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, Robert Sala, uh, he seems like that old man who tries to be hip and listen to hip hop. Like when he was like, I like the lick of it. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't got no, you, you, you not popping. Right. I'm like, that he, song is like 10 years old. He knew, he knew the cameras was on. He knew the cameras yeah. was on. Yeah. 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 S- Smiles. Very w- 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 What was you saying? No, I was like, just making fun of Aaron Rodgers. Talking about, oh, yeah, I, I, I want to sit at a different table every day for lunch. Like, one day I'm going to sit with the receivers. Next day I'm going to sit with the de- That's leadership, players. though. Why are you hating on that? Yeah, as a quarterback, you kind of got to do that. You got to do that. You got to do that. But I feel you smile. No, no, no. Free, no, no. Free, 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 free. Hold on. Cause, he, he mad because Dak never did that for the Cowboys, and that's why they are where they yeah, are. But, 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 but to Smiles but, point, you know what it reminds me of? Remember that Hard Knocks when it was in Houston, Texas, and it showed J.J. Watt? Working after practice, doing moves and yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. this is how committed I am. Yeah. I'm Captain America. Yeah. Uh, and then after the cameras rolled, he went home. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, right. catch like, footballs in my hand. And was counting all that rain. Hurricane Harvey money. Right. <laughs> it's like, bro, you, you stayed after practice five minutes while the cameras was rolling. As soon as they cut them shits off, you went home to impregnate your wife to have the baby that you are now showcasing on NFL mm. Network. That you showcased mm. on Hard Knocks when they did the Cardinals. Shut the mm. fuck up, JJ Watt. You are hiding a child. Damn. You, well, damn. Nah, because I'm still um, in Houston. He hid that Hurricane Harvey money from the Fifth Ward at Acres Homes, nigga. Fuck JJ Watt. Smiles. What was you about to say? You was about to make know, some but, bullshit up uh, about about nah. the quarterback. 
No, other than that, it's just I just hate the whole thing because all he's doing is exactly what Brett Favre did. <laughs> I just think this, the whole thing is just bullshit. I don't care to see the Jets win. I don't care to see and, them survive. Well, but I'm going to be entertained by um, my man Sauce Gardner. And, are you uh, picking him up Detroit. for fantasy? That's all I want to know. Hey, yes. hey I'll, pick, I'll pick up um, Sauce. Or my uh, man, uh, uh, we, we, we do an individual defensive oh, players. We, we, we don't, don't do that we, we don't do that in the, in the United yeah. Bros League, Smalls. So we what the fuck do are you talking here. about? Right. I did a mock draft mm-hmm. last night. And I took Aaron Rodgers. So this nigga did a mock draft. Oh, this nigga is. Oh, you mm-hmm. gotta prepare. You oh, gotta oh, prepare. God, bro. What? But going to what Smalls was saying about Aaron Rodgers. Hey, you die. You either die a hero or you live long. Hold on, hold on, hold on, free. Nice quote and all that. But did you? Who else was in this mock draft? Was it you and your cousins? Yeah, no, I just random people. When I do my drafts, I just do random people because I'm just trying to get yeah. a feel. For it was you and your cousins, all right. So, so anyway, E Ray, what was you about to say? Because this nigga's plotting on us again. We about to get robbed, y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. coming well, for it. You gotta be united and a united front and whip his ass. He, That's he all. Had, it's okay. I'm, I'm he had the random people all. to act like we. They were us. Hey, like, free, all right, you're, you're free, gonna be low. Free. You're gonna be free. E-Ray. Free. I love you, and I love your contribution to this podcast. And I appreciate you, especially like even what you had to go through like the past couple of years and stuff, man. But if I find out you over there like putting us in the blender and stuff, I will fly to wherever you are to beat your ass, nigga. Like, no, like we I'm will straight, scrap. I'm we will scrap shooter. in your I'm front shoot. yard. I'm a straight shooter. I'm shooter McGavin. Nigga, no, I'm, I'm, just like, I'm a straight shooter. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm like, God damn. Hey, <laughs> hey, not, not, not in California. Hey, hey, no, not in California, he won't. Not in California, he won't. Right. I'm not trying to go to jail. Right. Twenty two right. years. Right. So, 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 so when I, I walk up and I'm ready I, and I'm yeah. ready to get the so, fade, nigga, like Tory you want to come out of fade, man. We be doing a puppet show to to entertain you. We this is a puppet show. Twist. I'm gonna come. Look, look. Your wife <laughs> hey, gonna come Corey. to you. Your wife gonna come to you. Be like, hey, Lowe's outside. Um, and he got his fist balled up. And you gonna look at you gonna look <laughs> miles tell in tell the him face. Tell I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. You ain't scared, nigga. The lights. Your cousins ain't gonna let you back in the bay if you do that. You gonna look miles in the face and be like, I guess I'm gonna have to whip him then. And then you gonna come out and you gonna get whooped, nigga. You gonna come out let like me find uh, out. pops. I remember we used to settle our problems with these. <laughs> like, okay. Nah. If, you I, like, you gonna hit me in front of my son, nigga? Yeah, hell yeah, I will. <laughs> you gonna be on me like Simba trying to... Hey, no, <laughs> b- because the listeners, the listeners gotta know, Free has, has like, skated on the entire Inauto Bros community, the entire ecosystem for two years in a row. Him and his cousins have put the play down on us. Trading players right, it, to it each other. It was Smiles guy know. that won last year. I didn't even win last year. Who? Hey, who? he who shall not be named. Who? Who? Anyway, you, I'm pointing the blame at you and your cousins because one time y'all won one, two, and three. God damn it. Or at least what? one and two. At least one and two. And I'm like, nah, they, they, they was in cahoots. Now, right. now I'm learning that y'all did mock drafts. You got to prepare. e what do they say? You the got to prepare. You get good. You just gotta get good. Free, free. Don't insult me because you, you are, you are my fantasy football Jedi. You trained me, and I, and I, and and I became second, first and second place in my previous jobs hey, and stuff. You've so, improved, my young Padawan. Yeah. So I'm here to <laughs> take you. You'll never get to my level. Nah, nah, no, nah, nah. I'm gonna take your head off, nigga. Believe that. I'm coming for you, nigga. What I need to do this year is I need to stop waiting on quarterbacks. I need to just jump on someone I like and just get it. That's what but I quarterback do. Quarterback has been holding me back. I need to. I'm not saying because no. I'm old school. I don't Keep take doing quarterbacks what you're doing, early. Man. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, do that. I ignore the rules when they be like, "Oh, you're not supposed to draft this and that until the third round, nigga." I take I who the I fuck I want when I right. want to, nigga. I'm Who's a grown give me ass man, points. nigga, and I still lose to free and his cousins because they got us in a <laughs> fucking blender. <laughs> God. Injury, injury is a dangerous thing. I, I swear, that yeah. was crazy. So, so, so I, I thought I was in there. So, so back on track, back on track a little bit. Are we on board for hard knocks or not? Do, or do like to to freeze no. point? Do we feel like this is a fluff piece? E Ray, you haven't Absolutely. even watched it. Have you watched the fuck? I mean, no, I don't need to because I hear all my niggas tell me this shit is ass. I love I'm hard knocks. I'm gonna keep Liz watching Robert because it's football content. Yeah, yeah. That's like, I love football content. You gotta inject that shit into my veins, so I'm gonna watch. We know. It. I just you went to school. Watch, I binge now, hold, all hold, the quarterback. Hold on, E Ray. Hold on, E Ray. This nigga free went to school with all of the niggas who produced hard knocks. He noted the the existed uh, executive producer of the quarterbacks. Uh, meeting locker room, nigga. Like you know what they have for breakfast, nigga. Shut up, Peyton, freak. Peyton Man is my stepdad. <laughs> like, okay, freak. I don't know what all these things mean, nigga. but 
again, like I said, I watch quarterbacks. Robert I, I, Salah is my cousin. I say like, honestly, I believe that. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Mahomes, after I finished quarterbacks, I think Patrick Mahomes might have actually been in that Montgomery brawl. I love it. I don't know what you. I don't even know which side he was been on. Yeah. But yeah, regardless, yeah, yeah. I I love the energy that he brings. Uh, that kind of satiated me from Hard Knocks. I, I'm sick of the Jets and the same people. That's why I watched the Lions. I thought that was a oh, that's some new energy in, into they injected. Give me something else. I don't. I know why they're doing the Jets. I know because Aaron Rodgers. But uh, Sauce Gardner is is a character as well. Uh, Sala, cool, I guess. But I think there's some other people and other teams that yeah. would have been far more deserving. But uh, I'm going to check it out, of course, but I'm just not necessarily rushing to it. It's not uh, appointment viewing TV. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, my next thing is uh, I want to ask y'all. So they we celebrating the, the the anniversary of hip hop today. Yep. Uh, 50 years. Yes. 50 years to, to a culture who has, let's be clear, it's reign supreme. Right. We could talk about the Montgomery bra and all that stuff, but I'm just going to say it. Our culture is what everybody want to be is what everybody want to see. That's why it makes the most money. Unfortunately, it's been to our detriment. Now, I will say <laughs> that, hip- that money goes up. hip hop has has transitioned from being like the report of what's going on to the hood to just like a commercial, a commercial for like <laughs> consumerism. You know what I'm saying? As far as drugs all that shit, but I'm not here to police that. That's not that's not what I'm here for. I want to celebrate what it was supposed to be and what it has been up to about a couple of years ago. <laughs> mm. Um, so I want to ask y'all, and I'm gonna start with you first, Smiles. What was your first kind of experience or encounter with hip hop? Like, what was the first tape you heard? What was the first song you heard? First artist you was introduced to that made you like like rap hip hop music? Well, for me, uh, I always. I'd like to shout out to my stepdad because uh, I remember I was I think like yeah like elementary school middle school because the one that also started my my little hustle selling CDs so my stepdad okay. gave me the um, Black Eyed Peas Ella Funk album <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he gave me the Ludacris Back for the First Time album <laughs> there was some redemption there because I'm like god damn <laughs> I, I give you Ludacris yeah, yeah. Black Eyed Peas, Black Eyed Peas, hip hop. Okay, but right, right, right. Shout out to your stepdad for confusing the fuck out of you. Like, (laughs) what up, y'all? It's your boy Free, aka Free Luminati, aka Young Freezer Burner, aka the Black Peter Parker, aka Poon Knight. And I want y'all to check out Blurs in the Trap, the new podcast with myself and my boy Doctor Jones. Dropping Indian Otterverse every Monday. Come check us out. Get all your daily Blur content. You know, nerd culture from a Black perspective. We've got other pods doing it out there that we support, and we wanted to add a little bit of our own flavor to the mix. So check us out every Monday's in the Otterverse. Peace. But uh, that's what got it going. Let's get it started. And yeah, let's get it. Was it my humps on that album? No, that song slaps. I'm not going. <laughs> Shut up, free that no, right. no, that's not hip hop. That's hip hop. Ten year old, where, where's Neo to shut your shit down? Right, sorry, that's my, that's my. <laughs> Sit your ass down, boy. Right, but, check it out. <laughs> but yeah, this so, nigga uh, said most black eyed peas. That no, on a hip hop uh, appreciation segment. Yeah, but uh, before you know, um, my introduction to you know the Wale and all that, Ludacris has always been my number one favorite rapper. So when I heard Ludacris back for the first time, I was just okay, like, "Okay, this is way awesome!" To like, way to save it. <laughs> hold so, on, free now, not free. Hold on, hold on. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Smiles. Anything I just else? have questions. I just have questions. Okay, okay, okay. Free, ask yeah. your questions. Go ahead. Go ahead. So back for the first time came out in two thousand and one. What were you listening to before that? It was just like black eyed peas, black eyed peas, and jazz. Like, it was, it was, about, just, it about, but... it was just whatever was on, on the radio. So we know about smiles when he was joking, he wasn't Shut up, you're right. and he wasn't listening to music. He was just existing. Yeah, I, 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 I learned what was it. Oh, all right, y- y'all got it. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. <laughs> I should I shouldn't have lived with smile. God damn, bro. 
I'm glad he ain't caught it too. I thought I was the one who noticed. I was like, wait. I'm like, Black Eyed Peas, they got old yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I'm, only, I'm only a year older than you, right? So I was trying to talk through it. I was trying to talk through it, but y'all caught it. Y'all caught it. And the listeners probably caught it too, but we're here now. Um, e Ray, you was about to say something. What you got? Because cause we got to move on. Smiles, we're off the hook. Smiles, just go take a bathroom break or something and come back. Like, it's. Holy cool. You gotta pee. You gotta go pee pee. Oh like, my god! Go Ooh. fold. Go fold a chair or something. My god. Um. Yeah. I w- I actually wanted to ask y'all, said, but uh, I, I, I guess I was saving. I wanted to know what the first album was that y'all bought because that that oh, I feel see, like that one. I always say with my own money was here we go. A little bow wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Little it was bow-wow. little bow wow. Yes. The weird dog. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm crying. Say it again. Yes. Say something else. Oh, say something else. Say something else, nigga. So the first album I bought my own money was Big Willie style. Actually, no, I think I got that for Christmas. All but... right. Appreciate y'all for listening. This has been an all. <laughs> this has been an all. Y'all niggas was not hip hop kids, bro. Hey, like, no. god damn. I was ten years old. <laughs> no, that's not hip hop. That that's what I tell pop. people. I was like, you have to blame. I, I, didn't, I didn't have my older brothers. The shit didn't show me. Them niggas was out there in the streets. <laughs> when Disaster Strikes by Buster Rhymes was my first rap rap album oh. that I had. <laughs> Buster Rhymes was my, was my that I bought uh, like because okay. my mom like like had music so my mom listened to party music six nine boys chub rock whoop there it is all of that okay my first introduction to like rap rap was Buster Rhymes okay when disaster strikes and then my mama heard it because it, the, the intro was like what's up all my bitches what's up all my niggas oh I gotta get the edited version and then she went and got that but for a week. I snuck and listened to like Busta Rhymes, and that was my first first introduction to like rap, rap, hardcore hip hop. I mean, gotcha. Um, so mine, uh, my my niggas. dad, my dad is very. Uh, he was a Nation of Islam member, so uh, my first very first uh, album he got me was a uh, death certificate for uh, okay. Ice Cube. Yeah, um, how to I survive wish. in South Central? I wish. And, Right, so I I, I I listened to that, but the first album I pro- or first tape I bought with my own money was uh, TRU, True to the Game. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I, Master, Master P, me. Master P was second on my list. Master hey. P was second on my list. After Buster Rhymes, it was Master P. Growing up, I don't so, ask. It was, whatever I had so, access yeah. to. So for me, it's kind of hazy, but you got to remember, I grew up in the Bay. So my first memory of hip hop was MC Hammer. Okay. I, remember I had two, okay. I had two legit to quit on a cassette tape too and I'll be running, doing the running too man until I was fucking, hey. till I couldn't breathe. I was hitting the running man to that song. So you had to quit? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what's uh, up. But also I have early memories of listening to E-40, Sprinkle Me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same. You know, Too Short, Getting It. Yeah. Um, of course, Tupac, Biggie, because my growing up, my dad listened to hip hop, R and B, and like jazz. So yeah. I didn't really get oldies. I got modern shit. So that's yeah. what I grew up yeah. with. Um, the first, I mean, I'm kind of cheating with this question. The first album I bought, I remember I bought the Steel soundtrack. Remember that movie that terrible yeah. movie with oh Shaquille God. O'Neal? Yeah. I bought the soundtrack and it was ass. I had so it. I, don't I had count it. that. I had it. Jack so, Steel. Yeah. Right. So it's ass. Black Superman. And, yeah, I think I got. I don't remember it. I either got Big Willie Style for Christmas or I bought it. I, I, um, I got so I, I got the Steel soundtrack free from the radio station because remember, I cut my first radio commercial in like sixth grade. So like they gave me like free like promo CDs or whatever. Like and then my uncle I, had a promo company, so I had the Steel soundtrack. I know what you're talking about. I that got was the, the I got the Outcast um, equipment compilation. No, the compilation. Uh, oh, from the mo- they movie they had made. No, I, no, no, I, not I, Idlewild. Okay. Before that, the it greatest was, hits, the one that yeah. had the whole world on it. Yes. Yeah, that was the greatest. I had that, yeah. and I had Ludacris, uh, Word of Mouth for Christmas. Ah, Word of Mouth, I, is the which shit. was my my favorite album, like of the time. That was probably one of the first albums where I was like, oh, this is like what good a whole Word of Mouth came out when we was like like in like middle school. Yeah, yeah, I was. 
Yeah, like so, so that's yeah, probably because I was a freshman when Word yeah. of Mouth came out. Because I was, it, it, I, cause I was buying album. I, actually, let's, let's be with the probably one of the other first albums I bought ever, like CD yeah. that I bought was uh, Exhibit. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. With, with yeah. X and yeah. Uh, yeah. Choke Me Spank. Me, Man like, vs. Machine. Okay. Man vs. Machine. You know, yes. That album yeah, is hard. That no, was hard. No, no, no. You get that the uh, Choke Me Spank Me. Put, win, win, can we hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit is hard. Yeah. That shit is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Shit is hard. yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I think when my ear got more refined. What you see is what you get. I'm sorry for you. When my ear got more refined, I think the first album I bought was the Marshall Mathers LP. So that was like seventh grade. Yeah, um, yep. and I had, and then there was X on cassette. <laughs> yeah, yep. See, yep. I was just buying everything at that time. Once I started selling CDs, I yeah, was like, yeah, I'm yeah. buying <laughs> because it. I think I'm that was little Zane. That that, buying... <laughs> that that was the early like like when we got hip to music and especially to Smiles Point when you got that one friend that could like like download everything and stuff. Mm-hmm. The hyper like 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 consumption of music took place in our middle school to early high school days. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I remember as he's on tour now, Fifty Cent. I remember hearing "Get Rich or Die Trying" freshman year at high school. I remember mm. the feeling listening to the album and hearing like the, the Fifty Cent pieces drop at the beginning, and then yeah. like hearing "What Up Gangsta." You know, what I'll I'm saying? take it back a little bit further um, because we Midwest kids. Um, I remember having Kazai and have it and download in Detroit Rock City mm, with yes. Royce the Five yeah. Nine and Eminem. Yeah, and I yes. was like, and I was a, that shit was hard. Oh, because again, that was Midwest rap that I could like just oh. dive into. So again, I loved Eminem, but everybody that came up. Proof, uh, Royce the Five Nine was like my guys that I listened to for sure. But then also, um, what else was I downloading at the time? I, I had so much shit like in my computer for sure. By uh, Jay Z, that was the first time I heard the Blueprint Two. Meet the parents, and I was because I wasn't a Jay Z fan, I was a Nas fan. Then I heard Blueprint 2 and went back and heard the Blueprint. I was like, oh no, yeah. nope, it's over. And I was like, ever then I went back and listed a whole catalog. I was like, oh no, the Blueprint is like the greatest album I've ever heard, mm-hmm. and that was my favorite. So go to war with the Mormons or take a bath yeah. with the Catholics. No wonder they try to drown me in holy water, try to hold me under longer. Like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? Man, I had. Good good times with music. I was like, rap has come such a such a long way. Yeah, I yeah. I do hope. Uh, I know as, as much as we're older gentlemen. Uh, besides smile, smile's like twenty five mm-hmm. right now. But as we are older gentlemen, um, and we kind of sometimes we poo poo on 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 what's out now. I'd like to just see more of it coming. Full circle. Substance. Uh, I, we, say yeah. it what it is. We want to see more substance, E Ray. God damn it. Yeah. Like, don't tiptoe that, around that and that's shit. True. That's, we want to see a return. Hip hop started as a report from the streets. Mm-hmm. Now it's just like a commercial for drugs and gun violence. And ass. Yes. And, and, and titties. Brown. Yeah. And I, I think we'll get there because I think, like any other uh, um, avenue, it's cyclical. And I think you already kind of spoke to that, E Ray. Things kind of. Cause I remember back when we were probably at the end about to graduate college, hip hop was in a similar state. You know, yeah. everybody was trying to like get mm-hmm. ringtone sales. Yeah. And then kind yeah, of the blog, and then kind of the blog era kind of kicked in and that brought yeah. more substance back to music. So yeah. I think uh uh it's 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 gonna come. It's just a matter of when. Hopefully. Yeah. I but I, I would say that the difference is that now uh, the bar has been lowered a lot more, and the amount of like technology that we have for, for like, sure. bars of entry. So, so, so I think so. those things do play a factor. But hopefully, as you said, there's still like the cream that gets to rise to the top, or even the people that are rise starting, to the you know, top. bad that they kind of still elevate because we we've, we've noticed that you still, no matter what, you might come in on some trash. But you still gotta like yeah. make something to keep your to keep people or going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Because you're gonna start seeing artists coming out now that say, "Oh, I grew up listening to J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar." Not, not Dave even Craig. that. No, nah, they saying NBA YoungBoy now. Like, and I haven't. Yeah, I, I don't know. No, scary. they don't even know. Like, like oh six Gucci. Up on Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, yeah Lil Uzi Vert is yeah. my favorite rapper. They they have no idea about like oh six Gucci or like Project Pat or E Forty or any of these people. They think Snoop Dogg is just like a cartoon character. Like like they just like oh Snoop Dogg is this. They don't know that Snoop Dogg was that nigga, like coming up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like like like. Now I will say this because E Ray touched on something. 
the technology. We already saw like what AI was going to do and like 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 artificial intelligence and like the impact that it was going to have on music. There's rumors that um now that Google and Universal Music are are discussing a potential deal to license artists' melodies and voices mm-hmm. for AI generated songs. Anonymous sources tell the Financial Times that generative AI has already produced a wave of deep fake, quote unquote, songs that mimic the voices of real artists, making it sound like, for example, Johnny Cash is singing the Barbie Girl song. The deep fakes are often made without the permission of the original artist. The I'm Google Universal the deal would allow for fans to create songs oh, legitimately. After paying the copyright owners for their use, artists will be able to choose whether or not they want to opt in. So some people like Drake and stuff are saying like, nah, hell no, nah. like this is this is not working because they still in voices. You saying that oh they can opt in? If they have the technology to take your voice, whether you opt in or not, they have the yeah. technology to take your voice, mm-hmm. my nigga. Right? How do y'all feel about this shit? Especially coming like off of like what we like celebrate hip hop. Go ahead. Smart. I don't like it at all. Not at all, because it's like again, like somebody like, like Drake is like, you got say smiles want to drop an album and put Drake like Drake like nigga, I ain't clear. I didn't these, say that. These, I didn't these say bars. nah, not even clear it. I didn't say that shit at all. Like I can have him saying like, yeah, shout out to my nigga smiles. We up in the club. <laughs> shout out to the six, and he like fucking nigga, white bitches. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like nigga. I've never even been to Akron, Ohio. I've never even heard of Akron, Ohio. All I know is LeBron. And it's, I'm like, yeah. But no, you you were born in Maui. Remember? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's Harvard. like that. It's like that RDC World skit. So they was already on top of this. We're like, oh, we about yep. to get rich. We got Drake on it. Right, but I would just tell artists you have your lawyers look over your contracts, make sure there's no there's no clause in there that mm-hmm. states that that we can. know music musicians and artists really love looking over their contracts. Right, that's what I'm right. saying. Have your lawyer look over it, make sure because we know you don't work trust for a lawyer because we know that music and E-ray artists knows. lawyers E-ray knows don't work. Yeah, um, the, the, I think this wait, is wait, terrible... E-ray, E-ray, you mean the lawyer that the label assigned you to? That you already made conflict to... of interest mm-hmm. yeah, is yeah. oh yeah um honestly this is just a, a shitty idea i mm-hmm. i hope that this does not catch on this feels very much nah, like um yeah. and it sucks this when very much like, like black mirror supported. black mirror where uh selma hayek was playing this lady and just playing her life because she clicked Jonah's the, awful. the terms and conditions mm-hmm. it's the same shit it's like oh yeah because you opted in we can do whatever we want with your voice. This is the yeah. same reason why uh, the SAG after people are striking now. Because yes. then, hey, yes. we can take pictures yes. of you yes. and then have you doing fucking uh, hammer dances in the background in perpetuity. Yeah, none of this mm-hmm. shit makes any because sense because you signed uh, off on this on your initial contract in the, yeah. in the third paragraph on the fifth page that, that like yeah. like that you didn't mm-hmm. see. And, yeah, and exactly, I was gonna say, and or you like know, that movie I watched. You, you were talking about E. Ray. Um, Warriors. Warriors, yeah. When they were like at the end, they're like they signed the contract when they signed their uh, lease. <laughs> yeah, yep. Because they didn't read the terms and crazy conditions. Twist. Um, yeah, I, I just think that's a, it's another one of those slippery slopes. I I hope that this does not become prominent. I hope that people um kind of rail against Timberland and other people that support it. I know we want to like it's a hard thing trying to strike a balance between uh being progressive when it comes to technology and then being like fearful of it. But I think we have to be cognizant of like artists and technology and kind of using the technology like uh, auto tune and shit like that to enhance our artistry, but not necessarily just use it to like completely rob artists and people of creativity. And yeah. I think that's what yeah. the AI does. Yeah. And I, I just, I can't sign, co-sign that or go along with it. Cause then we got a bunch of deep fake bullshit as it is. Right. Mm-hmm. So. And, and everybody like, oh, you heard that Drake and Weekend fake song? Like, is that what y'all want? Now we just got like, fucking so random. You know it's fake. <laughs> yeah, like Randy Newman just fucking sitting there. Like, <laughs> the go, music go sounds better songs. with you. <laughs> Randy Newman and Drake. Like, I don't, I don't need that. And I'm hoping, praying even that, like, because I'm already kind of distancing myself from music that 
comes out. Like yep, I like yep. my, what I like now at this point. I feel like I'm, as you I'm, should. Like, I'm, I'm in that older you're realm. A Forty like, year old I'm not man. Searching you're for old shit. ass. You the oldest nigga on this podcast. Fact. You should be that way, Grandpa. Yep, I'm just like look. Yeah, get off Moldy. my lawn. <laughs> I just mow these lines in my lawn. Yeah, that, that's it. I'm, I'm cool with that. But what I will hope for the future, even though I may not be listening to it, is that people are trying to like progress the art so it doesn't get reductive yeah. or it doesn't get taken over. Kind of like, uh, unfortunately, Free mentioned his dad listened to jazz, and we've seen what happened. Well, yeah, jazz. yeah, jazz died. Jazz died, like, bro. Be, like, because it got gentrified. And that was our yeah. shit. Like, jazz, the I, Harlem well, Renaissance, and, and back in the that was our, like. And so was rock and roll. Disco. So was R&B. Disco. So was like, disco was the shit, and they killed that shit with drugs. Right. So, again, I'm just hoping, because I, I know <laughs> I'm being a book little. Of sugar. Woo! Uh, right. I was like, I hope I'm not being too uh, doom and gloom, man. Nah, just, you, you speaking I'm, I'm seeing the future, and I'm like, I'm scared that if we continue to allow the artistry to get watered down and just let anybody in number one and then allow everybody to just kind of even water down our greats then what do we have it's just a bunch of bullshit and repetitive bullshit until there's no even reason to listen so that's, that's I mean, we've opinion. heard this for we've heard this for generations since hammer and hip-hop is still here so well, well now we got the technology here. We can yeah, we but, can build it. We can duplicate it. But there, that work. just means there's talented <laughs> people that have access to the technology too. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, all right. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. That was a good combo. Mm-hmm. Good combo. Um, smiles. You got some music for yeah. us before we get up out of here. Yep. So the first song um, features my most recent guest, Shun God, straight out of Houston. You know, H Town um, representer. Um, he got a new joint called Drive Through featuring one of our 2010s uh, rappers, uh, Mick Jenkins. I don't know if anybody on. Yeah, on I fucked with Mick he's, Jenkins. He's, yeah. 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 So he. he the he, healing he, component, uh, THC. That project was fire. Niggas up was, was sleeping on that shit. I was with it. Yeah, yeah my, my yeah, dude no. uh, was able to uh, link up with him and um, get him for a feature. So the first joint is Drive Through featuring Mick Jenkins and then our, you know, BG homie Ace the Prez uh, with his joint Black Suit. Cool, cool. Now, before we slide, everybody get their socials and shit. Smiles, where can they find you in Music Impulse? You can find me at JW Smiles on Instagram. Um, you can follow me at Music Impulse, M U S I C M P U L S E on Twitter, Instagram, Threads. Uh, and yeah, that's it. E Ray. Oh, gosh, guys. Uh, e underscore R Y underscore the bad guy on the Instagram. Uh, link in bio, all the links. I have my Instagram baddie. You can find all my shits, buy a t shirt, go follow me on other social medias. E underscore why the hipster on the Twitter slash X, I'm like the X shit. I don't oh, know yes. what that is. Um, also, let me book the territory, let me book the territory. <laughs> uh, pod.com for all the cool shit there with me and the fellas, the championship belts, and the recaps of our SummerSlam adventures. And bitch flicks and chill. Of course, the greatest concept of movies and television. Talking shit with my niggas. Yeah. Free. What up? You can find me at your local Costco eating up all the samples. Fact. But if, if you don't see me <laughs> there, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at Twitter. I at, said uh, one, sir. This, this is free. <laughs> Literally, I'm, at, I'm on I'm on Twitter at Despicable underscore Free, Hulk. on Instagram oh. at Free Lim- at Free Illuminati. Uh, uh, we got uh, Blurs in the trap. He was about to say, let me Rock push his head. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. Yeah. He really was. Shout it out. Go ahead. Let me, let me blur you on there. You blur the territory. <laughs> Let we me blur the territory. The, <laughs> we got Blurs in the trap dropping real soon, sooner than you think, actually. And uh, we're gonna make sure we got some socials going for that too to give y'all some some nord nerdy ass content. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, we out of here, y'all. It's an audible ruckus. Motherfucker. Let the madness wash over you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the fuck you say? What the fuck you know? Uh, 
chillin' with skis, don't trick on them either Ain't changing no shit for this evening, keep it a stack, no deceiving I keep it a hundred, condoning, no capping, I let them know We taking this shit to new levels, bro It hit a little different when you set the levels Ain't copping no bezels, we stacking up Say 30% what we bringing in I say that shit once, I won't say again My nigga, we on, I'm setting the tone That's your story long, be good for mental I light up the spliff and play instrumental I live through these beats, I'm just trying to tempt you To reach all your dreams, you painting your scenes Hey, don't be too timid to fly, homie How you think I came to master a ceremony? Had to take the risk, had to have faith Gotta not give a fuck what they ass say Gotta not give a fuck to your last day, nigga And always stay in your bag Gotta keep a stash for the past, say Gotta keep a joint up in your ashtray Gotta elevate, gotta tap the mental Gotta celebrate, be your own fan, be your cheerleader I don't take commands, I'm the ringleader Master my lane, master your lane And we can split it even What the fuck you know? Room on me, keep the flow clean. My army, we could pole dance. Every nigga need to go cheese. Trees and note into the coat check. Fresh bloom on me, it's a OG. Doom beats out the Alpine. Niggas pulled up in the old school. A minor though, we low key. Touch bases, then I'm back home. But we major league back in point three. Court cases, then I'm back home. Abort mission, niggas off that. Power puff hit the right mix on these power lines. Look what sparked that. Perfect pictures out the dark moon. Fuck dope money, look what art do. Flip it once, it's a part two. Got it going up on web three. Float it like it's Noah's Ark two. When them waves crash, I be dead sleep. I've been in this water like a shark tooth. Color theory smoking chartreuse. Brown papers had the dead bleach. Blue faces need them stacked up, but we'll accept them out like Cart two. Cart two. Cart two. What the fuck you say? What the fuck you know? Uh, the flow too heavy, man. I flood a mile. Say we rockin' steady. Say what you about. Never needed extra just to gain a clout. I'm by my raps. Hope you feel a sound. Hope you smoke a pound and you level up. Pray you never drown and you double down on what you planning, bruh. Gain some stamina. I was raised up with some manners, bruh. But on the track, I just abandoned them. I speak my truth and then it bandage up. Trying to handle up, I'm the handler. <laughs> I'm plying on some figures. I'm just the same as you niggas. We got the same 24. I got my own day, that don't mean I got eight days, motherfucker. <laughs> niggas compliment the flow, I give them eight more. They spit a little bit, but Sean eight more. I show a little love, niggas hate more. Knew I could never trust them, now a nigga buzzing and they give me play more. Now I don't give a fuck them, girls, I really fuck them, cause they get attached. Play the game like it's pity pat. Now I don't really do the pity dog. Something on my chest and I'ma get it off. Get it off. Get it off. What the fuck you say? What the fuck you know? What up, though? It's your boy Uncle Skeetar, and you are listening to Inaudible Ruckus. Make sure you check us out on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, and SoundCloud, and check out the website, inaudibleruckus.com. It's Inaudible Ruckus, motherfucker. Yeah. Welcome to the Lazarus Effect. If this is the final hour, uh, Lord, Lord may he rest in power. Yeah. Before y'all niggas hold the culture, I'ma need all my flowers. Rose out the concrete, yeah. to Rose got on time piece. Uh, Was nickel and diamond, then I married a dime piece. My whole life changed now, no more chasing fame now. Yeah. Had to get my shit together, life ain't a game now. Cause if I lose it all, who the fuck gon' console me? My life took a sky dive, ain't nobody gon' hold me. Uh, they'd rather watch it all crash and burn. Every dog got his day, I know I had my turn Counting all these Franklins, I'm laughing to the bank Ain't going out like Franklin, my mama ain't raised a saint Her and my pops raised a hardcore nigga If you ever want the smoke, I keep a Marlboro nigga But don't make me act like that, move forward, don't take me back I'm going for the chip, and I want that shit back to back See, most of them hate the fact that Ace is a star player See through them like screen doors, these niggas all haters Son and all these loops, I'm a villain like Darth Vader He bout to catch his cut, I'm on his head like a dog taper San Antonio, with the squad, I'm like Popovich Wifey the MVP, go ahead baby, pop the shit You talking to a king, dog, I shoot like Stoyakovich They tried and tried again, but these haters ain't stopping shit They ask me why I do it, and I think it's quite obvious I'm trying to make my fam a billion dollar conglomerate My name's sake, plan his way all way to a scholarship And baby girl got her eyes focused on doctorate Baby boy a genius, he's something like Neutron Either way they all gon' end up with more green than 
the crew time. I'm the real deal, little nigga, no group pie. Jordan 5, Wolf great. All I need is the poop pie. When it come to targets, I'm the wrong one to move on. Fuck around with me, yo ass can clip like a coupon. Been a big stepper, I don't need to put shoes on. I just killed this beat, I should put a black suit on, for real. This has been another episode of the Inaudible Ruckus Podcast. Make sure you subscribe on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, everywhere where podcasts are. You can also find us on iHeartRadio app. Um, Also go to the website, inaudibleruckus.com slash shop. Make sure you go to our YouTube page, subscribe there. Make sure you go to midnightclubmerch.com. Also support Naturally Nay. Make sure you subscribe to her YouTube channel. Also, you can purchase her products on the Inaudible Ruckus website. Okay, we got the Naturally Nay Moisturizer Dual. It's rated E for everybody. So, women, it works for your natural hair. Uh, if you're trying to, like, grow, uh, you know, grow out your froze, get your locks and everything going. Fellas, it works for your locks and beards as well, too, right? So, it works for everybody, right? We even using some of it on London, uh, Baby London, and it's growing her hair, too. So, just something to consider there. But... It's time to get up out of here, man. And like my OGs used to tell me, go with God and fuck the rest. It's an audible ruckus, motherfucker.